Hey, howdy, everybody. It's another podcast. And I chose a rather scuffed image because God knows it has to be this difficult to find a decent image of the movie logo we're about to talk about. Oh, it's, please tell me it's that cursed image you found of Orion Pax, because that would be awesome. <laughs> Dang it, I should have thought of that. Oh, well. <laughs> No, it's just a it's just a plain <laughs> Jane. It's just a plain Jane. I'll fix auto. it in post. Do you we'll even know what that post. means? I'll figure it out. <laughs> and, and yes, has been hotel still lives rent free in me and Justin's head. Honestly, yeah. it lives rent free in, on pretty much ninety five percent of the internet's head. Now, my fault. Most of the characters are memorable. And adorable, sometimes both, and terrifying. <laughs> All right, but we're not here to talk about Has Been Hotel. Obviously, we're here to talk about Transformers. Uh, more particularly, the trailer that, as of today of recording, uh, just dropped. Yeah. That of course, so. the like introdu introductions. So of course, get... like. Oh right. Um, going. I guess going down Discord. We got, we got Hunter. Hello. And my regular stream. And I am Optimus Prime. This is my regular stream yeah, right. host, Justin. Oh. It's not my fault. I'm a busy man. <laughs> I ain't blaming you for nothing, dude. Yeah, know, I'm just. I know. I just gotta throw shade at me in there. <laughs> I know. I gotta. I gotta make myself laugh. Yeah, so uh, I've, I'm gonna be honest. I was, I was not expecting we act to actually get a trailer today. Like I, th I thought honestly they were just blowing smoke up our butts on this one, bo nope, boys. Uh, but uh, I was told about the trailer, oh. and um, you know what I was told when uh, going into this. Well, uh, one of my buddies that... just one of my buddies and another the server I'm in. Uh, told me that this was supposed to be a mix of like Prime and the High Moon Studio games. I was expecting something yeah. epic, like uh, like the trailers for that show and those games. And yeah, um, not gonna lie, but, yeah, everybody else was saying the same thing. And honestly, Tom, <laughs> okay, like I know, I know it's gonna sound like I'm throwing shade before we get into it already, but it's like, and I'm not trying to, but like, admittedly, I feel a little lied to. <laughs> No, I, I see it in the no, I see it in the art style and the character designs. I see it in that. So I can't really cry foul or we've been bamboozled. It's just I mean I just sorta of, not really Man, I really didn't hear anything about what the movie was gonna be before this trailer, so honestly I was kinda of willing to accept anything. You know what, I Justin, Fair. I think I think that gave you an advantage, and I think this is the first time you're you're less judgmental than me on something. Not saying that is a bad thing. I don't mean that to sound like a like a like a douche either. Well, oh no, know. we're gonna get into we're gonna get into it, and it's like, and I and I'm gonna I, in fact I'm gonna go ahead and clarify this now for our viewers. It's like the thing is like. Any concerns that we bring up when we talk about this, this is not us just hating on something because we're haters. No, it's just us as fans are giving our honest thoughts and opinions on things, and I don't think we should be considered bad guys for that. Right. And yeah, so initially I and plus, was Oh, go ahead, Justin. And plus the whole point of a trailer the whole point of a trailer is to get someone is to get you hyped and Sometimes whether That's... you want to see the trailer or, or see the movie, want to see the movie or not want to see the movie, usually depends on what you know you thought of the trailer. Yeah, exactly. And I think that is, and I, and I think that's, that's honestly the thing that's keeping me from being too harsh with this, this trailer. I mean, look, I have been wrong about movies. I've judged on the trailers alone before. I will freely admit, I, I, I've uh, I've swallowed my pride before, and I was initially going to, like, post a, um, a like, initial reaction video of my reaction to the trailer, and I am very glad I didn't. I was 
way harsher about this movie, about this, when I first saw the trailer. I was like, I, 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 to, to quote, you know, to quote, uh, to quote uh, Krillin from Dragon Ball Abridged, Oh no! No, I think no. I think the better one would be to take a quote from John Tron. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, I was genuinely very, I was genuinely way harder on this uh, on this trailer. Like I, I, like it was kind of early in the day, and I pretty much uh, just admitted that. More than likely, people in my people in the service I weren't going to shut the hell up about it. Probably start start yammering. I was like, "All right, I'm just gonna watch this. Then I'm gonna watch the full thing on my computer at home." And yeah, as I actually let it, um, as I let it simmer on my brain a little bit, you know, yeah, as as it, as it cooked, I started coming around. I wouldn't like. I realized that like all this quote unquote disappointment I was feeling is just all my presupposition before this trailer. There. Okay. I that's yeah. that said. I still that said. I still feel like I'm gonna have some stuff to say. But again, it's not because I'm being harsh. Yeah. I, like I I admit like just to spoil ahead, I did roll my eyes at a lot of the jokes. Not all well, of there them. There was one oh, particular. I could... There's one in particular oh, I, I cringed. cringed at. Yeah, yeah it was one. Is, it, of... is it? Is it the? I wonder if it's the one I'm thinking of. It was one. Uh, the... Should I say it or? Uh, we'll we'll, we'll, get, we'll get, get to yeah. it, but yeah, there were like a couple of jokes where I'm just, where they, they were. I was just like, oh, oh no. I mean, to be, I will give some credit to the jokes. I mean, at least they're not being. At least this didn't get done by Illumination Studios. <laughs> Yeah, y'all just you y'all just will find any reason to throw shade at Illumination. It's not my fault. Well, okay, it's not that their movies are bad, Tom. It's just the fact that like they're kind of very generic by the books to a point. That's it. We're watching like, by the Mario movie. No, that one is at least good. <laughs> that one is at least good. That movie's at least good. It's just a slight tangent off of that yeah, one. Actually, I, I mean, I hear it's good, I mean, but you can't convince it me is. that has that like that like Nintendo and Illumination didn't just like make a how long is that movie? An hour and a half. Yeah, you can't tell me that isn't just an a, just an hour and a half apology video for the '90s Super Mario Brothers movie. Well, it, it certainly, certainly is. is. Oh, it is. Like, Illumination presents what what Nintendo apologizes profusely for that last movie we tried to call Mario. I still have a soft spot for the live action Mario, not gonna lie, but. Just because of how bad shit insane it is. Oh, no, 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 no. I yeah, appreciate but... it. I appreciate it now, even though I needed a couple of margaritas to get over some of the changes. Okay, All I can say, like, okay, let's we we need we need to get back on track before we go on a tangent. Uh, okay, right. good point. But no, no I mean, no, 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 this is I. But no, I mean, yeah, Transformers one. So yeah, I'm just kind of broad stroking it, and I'm sorry, I'm not really showing the trailer in this. Number one, this is a podcast, so like mainly audio, and number two, I just don't want to like. I, I don't want to get copyright struck by 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 Paramount. I mean, Bro. or has, yeah, so, so when we actually, like, when I screen share the trailer, I am going to have, like, the, um, the, the audio muted, but I just figured we could just go, like, frame by frame, take a look at some of the details they put in, because I noticed some pretty well, cool crap in the trailer. Well, I did, too. Oh, I feel, well, before we, well, before we do, I think we should all kind of just, like, around kind of give our initial thoughts on what we think of certain things like the tom you kind of already gave your broad strokes justin do you want to go next or do you want me to go uh you go i'll go last sure sure all right so i gotta admit like i said earlier like i admit i was not expecting a trailer because like i mean okay i was 
I didn't know what to expect if we were going to get a trailer or not. So it's like when, you know, I saw that, oh, there actually is a trailer for the movie. I'm like, okay, so we weren't, we weren't lied to on that front. It actually did come out today. Now, I will admit, I would, to a point, I do agree with you, Tommy. It's like a part of me does kind of feel like, yeah, admittedly, I was a little disappointed upon my initial thoughts when I first saw the trailer because it's like, and I still feel that way to a certain degree. But again, what stops me from going into full on hating it is again, is again, I realize, again, this is just the first trailer. The point of a, the point of an initial trailer is to get you hyped for the movie. Like, right. And I will definitely say I don't know if I'm necessarily hyped for this one just yet. <clears throat> But I can say I'm curious. Like, I legit want to see where this goes. Like, it's like, I will admit some of the voice, like, one thing I will say, and I think, Justin, you're probably going to talk about, we're going to talk about this when we get to you too. But, like, admittedly, I was, because I was talking to a coworker and friend of mine today about the trailer too. It's like, admittedly, I am kind of a little... Part of me is kind of getting annoyed that, again, animated movies like this, it's like they're predominantly going for a big star cast, a big celebrity cast yeah. to voice the characters instead of just going with vo actual voice actors. But I got yeah. to admit, some of the voices they picked weren't bad. Like, I'm going to be honest, Chris Hemsworth, honestly, he actually kind of sells Orion Pax for me. I actually got a yeah, fun sure. fact He's I learned. Not just doing his... And he's not just doing his Thor voice. So. I actually have a very fun yeah. fact about that, boys, and you're going to appreciate it. Chris Hemsworth so. actually went to Peter Cullen to make sure he gets it right. Ooh. Like, he actually got some tips and help from Peter Cullen himself. Ooh. So, oh, as rip. much as we okay. want to make assumptions yeah. about, like, about Chris Hemsworth, well, like, you got to appreciate that the guy went to the expertise Exactly. Well, the thing is, like, the well, the thing is, like, another thing that had me on board with it initially too was the fact that part of the reason they wanted to go with Chris Hes Chris Hes Chris Hemsworth, sorry, uh, is, is they said like he's got he's got that same kind of low tone baritone voice that Peter Cullen does for Optimus Prime, and they figured it would work for a younger right. again because the whole point is this is Optimus Prime before he's Optimus Prime. Basically, again, he's a Ryan Pack, so he should sound younger. Right. I mean, you think about it, that's what they did in, you know, the G1 episode War Dawn. Only you know, in this like... case, I can fully believe that, believe that he goes from whoever the fuck voiced him there to Peter Cullen. At least I, at least I, exactly. at least I'm willing to believe that he didn't have that drastic of a puberty. <laughs> or, yeah, or even but... like, or even like with Peter Cullen, or even like Peter Cullen in Prime when he becomes Orion Pax, at, you know, at the end of season one, going into the first few episodes of season two, when he loses his memory, like his tone is Optimus. Actually, he actually lowers his tone. Actually, kind of like doesn't make his tone as deep for Orion, which I think is very fitting. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think Chris Hemsworth is a good op or Orion Pax. Like honestly, yeah. again, some some of the jokes in the trailer, withstanding, he's actually yes. he's actually I think what's got me on board for this movie the most. It's like okay, like Scarlett Johansson actually not sounding too bad as Alita one. Got to be honest, I no. yeah I think she I think she works really well for Alita. No, and of I course agree. we got Brian we got Brian Tyler Henry, aka Bernie from the MonsterVerse, as young Megatron. I have to admit, not interesting really choice. Sure how, yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel. I'm not gonna say I'm complete. I'm not gonna dunk on his. I just don't really buy him as young Megatron. Well, I I buy him as a young Megatron. Now, permission to be like kind there. of devil's advocate here. Sure. By all means. Okay, maybe his cadence doesn't work for a young Frank Welker's Megatron, but you know, kind of his like tone and the gra a little bit of gravel in his voice reminds me of Earth Spark Megatron a little bit, just minus the uh, the slight uh, accent. Scottish accent. Yeah, the slight Scottish, Scottish accent. accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, give my boy uh, a now break. Now I'm kind of wishing it. Oh, uh, now I'm kind of wishing it was Rory McCain. No, no, no. Yeah, well, no. Rory McCain actually is Scottish, so. Yeah, but no, no, no. No, well, no shade to Rory McCain, but no, you. No, I, I mean. No, like... I, think, I, I see what you mean, and 
Yeah, oh, I, get I guess it. you could say it kind of sounds more like Rory McCain's Megatron from Earth Spark. I don't think it's a bad thing because I like his Megatron in Earth Spark. I do too. Like again, it's I don't compl- I'm I think I definitely feel like I said like I'm not against Brian Tyler Henry as Megatron. I admit it's gonna take some getting used to, but again, maybe l- this will be a. Ca- I'm thinking this will. Ho- I'm hoping this will be a case where, you know, once we actually see the movie. You know, and actually hear and see what this Megatron's about. It's like, okay, I get where they're going for, and maybe and it does work for me. Yeah, and um, now, the, I, now, and then of course we have to talk about him because, like, this is the one where I feel like this is the elephant in the room. Bumblebee. Uh, and, yeah. Yep. And I'm sorry, but we're just, I, I don't know, like, he's B-127 and Megatron's D-6. We're just gonna call him a Megatron and Bumblebee, okay? It's yeah, exactly. Well, that's who they're supposed. To, well, that's who they are. Like clearly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're like, okay, like I know his name is Ke- what's his full name? Keegan Michael. What? Keegan Michaels. I Hang can't on. Remember. Here, let me look it up. Hang on. Let's see. Keegan Michael Key. Keegan Michael K. K. Yeah. Okay. It's Sorry. spelled Key. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. It's, yeah. Because yeah, it's key and because key because key and peel. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's like I don't want to. I don't want to shit on the guy. I really don't. I'm not. I don't either. Because I do genuinely like him, but just and okay. I'm just gonna just, say this. There are some okay. movies that weren't meant for certain actors. Just put it that way. Okay. I don't even necessarily think it's that. It's just, again, some of the jokes they use for B in the trailer just don't land. Because it's like, I'm sorry, I just can't picture Bumblebee saying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got, can, can I, I can say the one that I think was probably the most cringe. I, I say we go to, yeah, you can, you'll you name it and we'll each, like, even though I think we're all thinking the same, like, cringe joke. Okay. Yep. Well, for me, it was the badass Atron. That yep. kind of made me. Oh play. my god! Oh Thank yeah! You. That joke alone okay, almost so... made me just. Oh. That joke alone. Y'all should have seen my face. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, like, like, like oh. I'm just gonna say it. And, and again, I know it's gonna sound like we're throwing shade, but like, again, I feel like this is a legit criticism. Like, and again, this is. As a fan, and so I'm approaching this with love as a fan. It's right. like this. This is one of those jokes where it's like I get the appeal is to try and make it, you know, try to be cool for the younger crowd. But this yeah. is, but at the same time, this is one of those jokes where you, where you're just going in your head, you know, whoop whoop, crying too hard. Oh, oh God, that. I mean, that hurt. Like that, I'm sorry. That joke just hurt. Uh, I, I just it's like, great. oh, oh man. Yeah, honestly, Hunter, my I friend... think what you just said sums up my feeling too. Like, yeah, it feels like you're trying Hunter. too hard. It really, like, I hate saying that, but that's honestly how it feels. It's like I get that you're trying to come off as hip for the kids, but now I will. You I... don't need to try this hard. Now I will. I I will grant. I will grant this. As bad as that was, sadly, ever since you two fuckers have introduced me to Brandon Tettled, I I've seen, I have seen worse. You have seen some shit. Oh my yeah. god. Queen Kong. If you value Thanks. comedy and your sanity, don't watch that fucking movie. How do you take a joke like a prehistoric bagpipe and make it this pedestrian and lame? <laughs> yeah, Monty Python, this movie is not. Yep, definitely not. Yeah. But again, yeah, we need to move yeah this movie, to yeah, I was just going to say, this movie did not did not earn the fucking right to parody King Kong. In fact, it's, ju- it's only just above being able to parody fucking Ape. Yep. But yeah, like no, I agree. It's like again the joke. Like I'm thinking like bad Acetron, but like it. But but you say it like bad Acetron. I'm like just like oh oh like that. I'm 
like I'm like, oh, why, why that that like let me again, boys. Let me tell you that made me cringe. That made me cringe hard. That just made Yo, me go. Mm. I, I just want to make it very clear. Yeah. I wasn't even on board with like the whole like. You guys all remember the shit fit over the initial Sonic design in the in the Sonic movie, right? I wasn't even in yeah. the crowd on that one. But I would be like if I'm just like, oh man, please cut that joke. Please. Yeah, I'm hoping, but here's hoping it's just something for the trailer. I mean, it probably isn't, but a man can dream. Oh man. But now Having said that, there are some jokes that did land for me. Like I've I've told you, I, I've been waiting to tell you guys about this one. But like that scene where all four of the cast are on look, look to be like, like behind them is the sunset. I actually got oh, a yeah. good giggle of like that one frame animation of B turning around and fucking hauling ass down the train. <laughs> that actually gave me a good giggle. <laughs> no, I think everyone. I mean, I looked at the comments section. Yeah, a lot of people were seem to agree that yeah, that was funny as shit. Oh no, 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 dog! That is a meme. That is a meme. Another one that was funny for me is like, I mean, we're gonna probably talk about this, but I want to bring it up anyway, quick, just to kind of glance over. It's like when, uh, when they. I guess are given the power to transform through Alpha Trion, or at least I'm assuming that's supposed to be Trion. Oh yeah, that's Trion. I recognize yeah, that like, beard. And, and then when and then trying to transform, I actually did laugh with Orion be like, Oh my god, I'm doing I'm changing shape. Where's my head? Where's my head? <laughs> yeah, that was actually yeah. pretty funny. Cause I I actually like that they're showing that it's something of a because we never really think about how it works for them. I mean, because there, there's no, like, human equivalency. Yeah, yeah it's, it's I always assumed, like, transforming is, like, tensing up your muscles. I, I always figured it'd be something, like, if you were to ask a Cybertronian, like, it's almost like, like asking Ben 10 and, like, what it's like when he transforms into an alien. It's like, if you were to ask a Cybertronian, it's like, what's it like to transform back and forth between robot and vehicle mode? I imagine the response would be, it's kind of like a really good morning stretch. Honest, I, I don't know. With the original animations, they made those transformations look painful as fuck. Well, to be fair, the designs are blocky as hell. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about the Ben 10 transformations. Like, those were like American Werewolf and London shit sometimes. Dude, you should have yeah. seen like, some of like, the little... You should have seen some of like, the little... Because I used to collect the toys of Ben 10 back when I was a kid, right? I'd have like these little, yeah. little circular things where it's like it shows Ben's face. It's like a holographic. Oh yeah, it's like had, a holographic. Oh yeah, I had a few of those when I was a kid. Where it's like you know, like it, you know, like it goes from like him as a kid to turning into an alien. It's like, it's like, it's like that's some American werewolf in London stuff right there. Like holy crap. Yeah, but no, God, that um, actually looks. That, actually looks painful yeah but all right before we before we just like lose the plot again um yeah. my feet. but no i mean i like, like i said there are actually jokes that can land again just packs like wait where's my head no like i'm like i said i'm interested to see where they're going with this movie like again i'm not against yeah. it completely now a friend of mine who like saw the trailer yeah. He says he's kind of okay with it because he feels like um like there's because like I need to like pull up the um freaking uh screen captures I did of his like messages on our server. Okay. Um screenshots Oh damn it. Sorry, boys. Oh, there are, semi. oh, there, oh, there are the images I wanted to use as the bat. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Like, I was, I was trying to say, You're there are the welcome. images I wanted to use as like the damn background. Thanks a lot, computer. Yeah, fuck you. I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, computer. That was too mean. 
wait, that was kind of yeah. mean. Or I, I, I'm sorry, I computer. Know. I should mean your computer, Tom. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> we like Jodtron here, in case you didn't notice. Exactly. Yep. All right, here it is. One of them, at least. Uh, uh, um, yeah, he says he doesn't mind like this, kind of going back to some of the um. Oh shit! Wrong one. Why do you have the out of order? Anything. Don't see anything anywhere. But no, he he says he doesn't mind this little change of pace because uh, like we've had like a good run of like, kind of more uh, kind of gritty Transformers stories like. I, I hear that, like, yeah. the newest uh, Transformers comics, damn. <laughs> like, they, they, I mean, Bro. don't get me wrong, like, they, they seem to perfectly balance being wholesome and brutal. They do. They really do. Oh, I've heard. I mean, yeah. Hunter, you've read them, right? Or some of them, at least. I've seen some, I've read a good bit of them yeah, so far. Yeah, he's kind of like, like, he's talking about how, yeah, um, I'm sorry I don't have all of them, because... God forbid. That's like, all good. My, my screenshots are in order. Um, actually, you know what? Before I, I go on this spiel, we need to let Justin give his two cents because we've been holding him up. Sorry, man. All right. So, I mean, a lot of what you said, I do agree with. Uh, and But uh, one of the things I really want to talk about is the design of Cybertron. Ooh. I mean, I think it's cool that they're doing something different with it rather than just being, like, one big, like, city planet. Uh, but I don't know how to feel about there actually being, like, organic plants growing on it, but at the same time, it does kind of remind me a bit of, you know, Treasure Jeans. Planet, because... what. I I was gonna say it reminds you of Beast Machines. He said, "No, nah, I, I kind of like where you're no. going with like Treasure Planet." Let let him cook. Because if you remember, cook. if you remember, like Treasure Planet, the whole planet was basically just a giant machine, you know, the the size of a planet, and thus had its own atmosphere, and plants were able to grow on it. I guess it's exactly. not that impossible because you know there are plants that able to grow on like surfaces of like rocks and stuff exactly you know it from the sound of and, it like I, from what i saw of the trailer it's mainly the surface that's going to have all this plant life like almost yeah, as if the was, surface has been abandoned yeah that's what i was gonna point out because yeah there's that whole talk about no one goes to the surface because it's dangerous and one thing i'm kind of theorizing if you guys don't mind me by all means. Go ahead. Okay, so, you know, so from, if you don't mind me skipping to this point, you see that the Quintessons are going to be involved in this movie. They're more Which than, I am yeah. very excited for. I mean, speculative, yes. but come on, it's the Quintessons. Yeah, those Who are clearly the Quintessons. <laughs> which, again, which seriously, I'm, I'm thankful, I am so thankful that we're getting Quintessons in this movie. Yeah, which, which, yeah, but they so have... I'm theorizing that maybe like this is something like in G1 where the Transformers were originally, you know, built as the Quintesson slaves. Maybe the ones that escaped under, and maybe like these guys are the ones that escaped and are now hiding underground, and now the Quintessons are like searching for them. Or, or, what if it's more of a case of like, you know, the Quintessons are lying to everybody, you know, and, you know, that's why the reason they're after Orion and the group is because, like, you know, if they come back and tell the truth, you know, we're screwed. Honestly, I just. Actually, yeah, because, you know, that, that actually might be true because we have that scene where the Quintessons are meeting with who I'm assuming is supposed to be Sentinel Prime. I think and like they, the, I think, the one is like grabbing him and like you know looking really angry. I, I think I think it actually is confirmed that was uh, Sentinel. 
I mean, I know he's going to be in the movie. Yeah. Um, sadly, sadly, there was no sign of Leonard Nimoy. Rest in peace, well, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. You miss Sorry, I was trying to do like... Yeah, we do. I'm sorry. It was my attempt at doing like a. Sadly, there was no sign of Doug McClure. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, no, Justin, you bring it up like the Quintessons and Cybertron are like a really good talking point. Can I be yeah. honest? Yeah, like Hunter, I was thinking the same thing. Like, you know, the service rule looks abandoned, but oh, yeah, sorry, Tom. No, yeah. no, it's good. But um, I, I, y'all are gonna think I'm weird, but I kind of like it. I don't know. Oh, why. I do like, too. I don't know why, but like Cybertron being able to support a kind of organic biome. Again, it gave me very Beast Machines vibes, and I'm kind of digging it. I, I don't yeah. know I, the robot Bambi, also it is, like the the Bambi yeah, Trons, as I'm going to call them, are adorable. Yeah, I was just going to bring it up because we've never seen Cybertronian animals aside from Cyberverse. That was like one of the things I loved about Cyberverse. Oh yeah, the single horn. Well, yeah, they, yeah, because like, 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 we're always told that like there is wildlife on Cybertron, but it's one of those things that rarely gets shown unless it's in the com, like outside of comics yeah. at least. Like in terms of like yeah. extended me- like media, like TV and movies, you know, you're pretty much yeah, SOL. Nice to... there. yeah. So it's nice to see more of Cybertron that isn't just the you know big cities. And I just like, yeah, that, like... That, that we have some, like, not quite aggressive wildlife. I mean, in the Cybertron games, we got the space slugs. In Prime, we got the scraplets. <laughs> so, yeah. Piranha bees, as I call them. Mm. It's basically what they are, piranha bees. I, I like that nickname. Sounds like something you find in Avatar. Or an asylum movie. Don't give them ideas, please. <laughs> Sci-Fi Channel and Asylum present Piranha Bees. Coming Fuck. to a TV near you, but probably not. Including A-class actors very desperate to pay off a credit card. <laughs> yeah, pretty much sums it up very well. <laughs> That's gonna uh, be we have too day. much fun. Some... <laughs> uh, we have too much fun sometimes. Okay, I should laugh at my own joke. That wasn't that fucking funny. Yes, it was. Uh, I mean, just... it's, it's funny because it's true. That's what asylum yes. does. But uh, anyway, back on topic. So, yeah, you, you think like maybe. So yeah, like Hunter, like you were saying, like about like. I, could you describe a little more? Because to me, it sounds like you're saying like maybe like the Quintessons are secretly running everything. Well, I think they clearly are. Like, if anything, it seems like Sentinel's just their patsy. Like, he's literally just yeah. a figurehead. Right. Plus, like that's like like the like I'm like basically what I'm getting is almost very or George Orwellian kind of vibes here. Like Sentinel's just the figurehead, and the Quintessons are really the ones running the show. Yeah, that does seem. Yeah, I think I think you might be right. Yeah, which I will admit that does make me sad because, like, since Dark of the Moon, especially, like, there's this whole trend to have Sentinel be portrayed as a bad guy. I mean, admittedly, right. like you, I, like you guys know, I've made this no secret one in our conversations, but I am kind of getting sick of that trope a little bit. It's like, it's like what? you can have. You can have characters that aren't Optimus Prime still be good people. They just, well, they're misguided in their attempts or whatever. It's hold like, on, but right. you know, so well, I'm, will, fair, hey, even, I'm willing to let, fair, I'm willing sorry. to, I'm willing to, I'm willing to give this a pass if they do it in a way that's interesting. And it does look interesting. So I'll give it that. To be fair, like when that one Quintesson like has them in its tentacles, you can clearly tell he's afraid of them. Oh yeah. Like clearly this is not. Like, clearly Sentinel is in a, like, the vibe I get from that scene is Sentinel is clearly not particularly happy about the situation himself. Because, like, again, it's like, yeah, he's technically the leader. But again, like I said, if the vibe I'm getting is that he's very much just the figurehead. And if, you know, 
he or any Cybertronian step out of line, you know, he's got to answer to the real guys in charge, the Quintessons. Right. If I, if, all right. So devil's advocate. So just because <laughs> it's very possible that Sentinel's going through like a Lando Calrissian kind of situation with the um, with the Quintessons. That would actually be really interesting. I could see it. I'm glad you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's the. I, I'm sorry. I I always bring up Star Wars, but that's the best way I can describe it. It's the, basically just the deals getting worse and worse oh, no, every that's... moment. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I think that's a good thing, and I I do kind of. I kind of hope they go in that direction. Whether they will, I don't know, but whatever direction they go in, I just hope they pull it off. Yeah, fair Same. enough. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to be like one of those people who wants it to go in this direction and then bitch when it doesn't. Yeah, that's when I re- yeah I, I was I was I realized I was going the same way when I first saw the trailer, and I was like, all right, step back, gather my thoughts. Double think and oh, I just saw what uh, Nick posted in in the Godzilla channel. Oh yeah, we need to do a podcast. Oh. On, like, we need to do like yeah, uh, next podcast we do. I definitely need to like. I feel like you guys definitely need to talk about like uh, my journey into into the world of kaiju. Oh, don't worry, we will. Nations, my another one joins the group. Another one joins the group. Yep, that's right. Not only have they indoctrinated me into the world of Toki- Tolkien, they've also dragged me down into the rabbit hole of Godzilla. Yeah. Welcome to the welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the fandom, friend. We are much more we are much more open arm and welcoming. Yeah. Also, I really love Nick's new uh, intro for his videos. I need to check those me out. Me too. Of I've been trying to get Nick uh, on for, like, a collab at some point, but I don't want to push him. I know he likes to do his own thing. Yeah. I, I, would, lo- I would love to have I would love to have Nick on with, for one of these. It, maybe, maybe when we talk about the Godzilla movies, we can... Uh... We can tag Nick along. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, we're here to talk about Transformers. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaiju yeah. are another time. Let's talk about another yeah. line of chat. Of Japanese media. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I mean it's technically sure. Transformers does technically come from Japan. Yeah. Also, can, can I just bring something uh, else up? Uh, yeah, well, by all ahead. means. Okay. When they're like, you know, you know, like near the end of the trailer when they're uh, showing off the uh, cast. Uh, it, it it has Steve Buscemi listed on it, which is funny because Steve Buscemi played Day Trader in uh, Last Night, uh, <laughs> which I actually do like but, that character. Oh yeah. yeah, but but the thing is, like, it's I looked up IMDb and Wikipedia. They don't really say who he's playing, but if I were to guess, it's probably I would probably think he would be a good choice for Starscream. That is it. A- Oh yeah, my god, that has, actually sounds he, like it could he work. Has like, he has he's that, playing oh, by the way, Weasley uh, hey, uh, He's playing Mike, Weasley. Uh, oh, Justin. Sorry. Uh, you mind turning yeah. on your mic just a tad? Oh, just a little bit. Oh, that's not a, I'm just getting excited. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 okay. So, okay. Uh, now I feel like an asshole. That's okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because. Like, Steve Buscemi, like, he's no stranger to playing, like, bad guys, and especially, like, Weasley bad guys. He and we t- see Starscream in the trailer, along with Soundwave and Shockwave, so. Yeah. They're we confirmed, also see... which is awesome. We also, I think we oh, also see I'm Sky Wars. That oh, yeah, that too, but, oh, uh, there's another character that I think we're going to get, but I'll get to that later. Oh yeah, I, I know some. I know some pretty awesome like character cameos myself. But, uh, I don't think I that's who it is, up... but okay. But no, I like your idea of like him voicing Starscream. I guess I'm just so used to like defaulting to either Tom Kenny or Steve Bloom. Yeah, you. But one thing boy. I find what's interesting is that when we see Starscream with Soundwave and Shockwave by his side, Starscream standing in front of a throne mm-hmm. in, like, a ruins, you think that could be implied that maybe Starscream was kind of the leader of the Decepticons before Megatron, or, like, maybe he was, like, the leader of, like, a rebellion? 
and that's where heroes are going to join. I think Komodo, Komodo and Cam had a very similar theory. Like, Megatron basically usurps Starscream and takes command, and that's how he founds the Decepticons. Yeah, which you know, would be an interesting it, twist on their rivalry. It could. Like, it would, and it would make all the more sense why Starscream wants to be in charge again, because he was, and Megatron basically stole what he felt was rightfully his. <laughs> Megatron exactly. Was like, a, Megatron was just like, Get away from me, bitch. <laughs> Very much. No, no, Megatron's like, okay, let me show you how you really run an operation. Move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, just like, okay, we this gotta... idiot is getting us nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And also we got to talk about Alpha Trion. I'm very certain that's Alpha Trion because he is listed in the you know, in the credits. Yeah, he... And that did sound like Lawrence Fishburne's voice because that's who's voicing yep, him. Yep. That was that was that Which was I th- that was Alpha Trion. Yeah, I love, I, have to I love that he's voiced by Morpheus. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, you know, Morpheus is Alpha Trion. Keep casting. <laughs> but I, I, just, but I just wanted to point this out, uh, Hunter. Did his design, with the design of his face, particular, did that make you think of like the old two thousands Bionicle movie designs? Something about it made oh me my, think that. Oh my god, it does. Oh my god, oh, no. I can't unsee it. I can't unsee like, that particularly, now. Particularly, it kind of reminds me of Taraga Vakama. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Lanta. Sorry, I, I know, I know, v- viewers, once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Exactly. No, you <sighs> but, uh,. Also, you know, there's the whole thing with, you know, them being worker bots who can't even transform. I'm really interested to know where they go with that. And it's interesting that well, it's yeah, like, like Orion's tales. also kind of like, I mean, granted, when we first ever saw Orion, he was a dock worker. But it just sounds like, it sounds yeah, like Pax is down in the mines with Megatron. Yeah. Yeah. Though, from, like, what the looks in the trailer looks like him and Megatron got demoted to waste disposal with Bumblebee. <laughs> I, so, I will admit, I am liking a little bit of, like, like, the, like I do like the vibes of, like, this version of Orion and Megatron do feel like they're best friends. Like, oh, just, I like, agree. The way, they ar- the way they argue, it feels very, like, to me, me and my friends when we kind of get annoyed with each other. It's like, I'm not even talking to you. Yeah, I don't believe that. we're in this particular... I can't like I, you're the reason we're in this predicament. I thought you weren't talking to me. We're talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that that was actually one of the jokes that made me laugh. Well, that uh, you know when they're on the highway with the jetpacks, like if we survive this, I'm gonna kill you. I accept those I accept terms. Those terms. <laughs> like that was br- I, like honestly like um like uh sorry I'm trying to remember the guy voicing Megatron's name i'm sorry brian tyler henry yeah brian tyler henry yeah. and chris have worked like they have like golden chemistry in this movie like seriously i don't know what it is boys but it makes me think of like jack nicholson and morgan freeman in the bucket list with the, their chemistry like i hate your guts oh i love you too <laughs> Dude, I okay. just got what it feels all right now here's a crazy thing guys the way their protoforms are does it kind of remind you of I'm trying to remember those lines of toys. They weren't Creo. They were um like you, you know, they were like they were like a model ki- kind of bots. What was that? Construct yeah. bots. Construct bots. Construct yeah, bots. yeah. They're like those. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. They're like those. I actually had a, I actually honestly, bought a, a lot of those. Better. They're actually uh I'm probably a little biased. I I didn't think construct bots were that bad. I mean, I might be thinking of something completely different, but honestly, Oh no, These you're no, you're right on the money. Work perfectly. Well, yeah, but especially like when you realize that. Is. Yeah, well, especially like since you know the whole thing is they don't have alt modes yet, so yeah, it makes sense that they wouldn't. Yeah, they look I mean, I very only, plain. Like, I mean, it finally like made the designs make sense to me because like it always bugged me that I couldn't see where the vehicle goes. They don't have alt modes yet. Does, it seems like nobody in this movie has. Like I, I would, I, I don't know if I should call them proto forms because they still have like their recognizable design cues. 
right? I mean, they technically kind of. I mean, I guess you could say they kind of. I just want. To, oh, speak. We're on top of the designs. Can I just say the way Megatron is colored, where it's like, yo, his body is gray, but like his arms and his helmet are black. Kind of reminds me of like the early colorations he had in like the old marvel comics oh yeah it, oh that yeah it does that that's was, clearly that in, yeah that's clearly intentional even the yellow yeah i feel like that's the yellow one of, eyes yeah that oh is yeah clearly, he, did, he did have yellow eyes <laughs> yeah that's clearly intentional i love that he doesn't have the fusion cannon yet either yeah i mean, yeah. I, I'm I mean sorry, we do get guess... a small glimpse of it in the scene when you know alpha triangle gives them the transforming cogs or whatever those are it doesn't have to be transformation I'm assuming cogs he's... I'm yeah. assuming Megs is probably going to be a tank. Oh, well, uh, no, uh, we do see that. We do see that. Yeah, in, we uh, catch a glimpse of his tank mode. Yeah. But, um, I'm, well, I guess I'm just kind of weirded out by, like, lack of a better term, how, like, thin they are. Well, it also makes sense that they are thin because, like, the again, like, I get what they're going for. The idea is supposed to be this is a younger, these are younger versions of these characters, so they don't really have a bulk right. to them yet. Okay. And again, like we yeah. said, they don't also, they also technically don't have vehicle modes yet. Yeah. I'm so it's right. like, it kind of make it kind of makes sense that they don't really have, like, car and truck parts. That's, yet. that's, that's very, yeah. that's very, I get, yeah, but I mean, when I first saw, like, the promotional images, I was scratching my head, but as I kept watching, it all started like it all started coming together, and this is why uh, it's kind of why you gotta like wait for more information to come out before you start. Uh, you see that the puzzle is all coming together. Yeah. Also, also while we're on the topic of designs, can I just ask you guys this? Uh, yeah. Did something about B's design kind of make you think of Goldbug? Definitely yeah, in the kinda. battle mask. Definitely in the battle mask. Yeah, that's what I was going to point out. Def definitely with the battle mask. Uh, but but you can also kind of look at it as, you know, his with face with, you know, his... Yeah. His face and, like, you know, his original G1 toy. Yeah. Oh, I think where the gold bug comparison comes in, Justin, is definitely because, like, the way his horns look on his head doesn't look bumblebee. It's more gold bug-ish. Yeah, they exactly. Point. That, that, yeah, they aren't quite like how they're these more horns square. Are. They're more square-like rather than the you know actual curved horns. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, basically like little pegs on his head. Yeah, exactly. Um, what? Um, what else? Um, honestly, like, honestly, like I'm trying to think. I I don't think I can talk much more about some of the trailer until I like, sh like start screen sharing and going over some of the details I like. And again, I'm sorry. I can't show this on the actual podcast. I'm just playing it safe. Right. And smart. So can I just, hmm? well, we're probably going to get into this when we're talking about it. So ready for the screen share. Yeah. You can still bring it up. Uh, yeah. 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 I'll bring it up when we get there. All right. I'm going to start sc screen sharing the trailer now. Y'all seeing it? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Yep. All right, so we're just opening up in the medical bay. I'm assuming it's a medical bay. And you want to know something I just right. love that they decided to do with uh, this? It's like, even what? though this is like a modern movie and this is an alien world, we kind of go back to like kind of the very bulky, square and angular kind of like technology and monitors. Yeah, I don't it has know a why. Very 80 it almost has a very 80s look to it. Very 80s, like, very 80s sci-fi, like, you know, Aliens, uh, Star Wars. I, I don't know yeah, why. I just, of course, Transformers. I just really appreciate that they can... I just really appreciate that they, they continue with that. Yeah, I do too. I also kind of like how you can clearly tell nice there's, too. like, no padding on the furniture because, well, they're robots. They're robots, yeah. Yeah, they would need it. Honestly, this thing over here on the... If you can see my cursor... Like, and again, I wish I could show you guys, but it's just... I have to play it safe. Right. We got, uh, like, the middle left here. What, honestly, this thing makes me think of a 3D printer. and I think that's a limb in there. You see oh it? Oh, my God. Yeah, I see it. 
I can't unsee it. You got... I, I don't know if that's like a trash can or a Cybertronian gonk droid. I was going to say um, it gives me kind of gonk vibes. Gonk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you got whatever oh, that called. Oh. The... All right, that's enough. <laughs> I'm killing the joke. <laughs> we got. I think this is joke. supposed to be. I'm just gonna say that's Ratchet's chair. I'm hoping that's Ratchet's chair, not Pharma's. If you know, <laughs> yeah, you know. we'll just we'll see who gets that reference in the comments. Um, we got, of course, Orion and. D16 sitting here. I'm yeah. just calling him Megatron. I don't care if they couldn't get the rights. <laughs> That's a oh. joke. You left. All right. And I'm just going to... You guys notice this little mark on his shoulder? You'll see it much more clearly later on in the trailer. I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it's a faded, like, silhouette of the Decepticon insignia. That's called foreshadowing. <laughs> exactly. I Honestly, do wonder what that means. You know, and I just gotta ask this. Like, Orion's head, anyone else get, like, kind of get reminded of, like, the Generations, like, Thrilling 30 Orion Patch figure that came out a few years back? Oh my god, I see it. I see it. Yeah. No. Yeah. They did not just go for that. They did not make that deep cut. They did. I, mean, I appreciate it. Thought you weren't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said. Again, look at the detail on the armor. Like, yeah, I could. Yeah, I, I can like sell. That. Yeah. I like yeah, the like, little, like, de yeah, like, you can see a little scratches on Megatron's shoulder there, you see? Yeah, like, they did, they did not have to go this into detail, like, but they did, and it looks fantastic. And I also does, love like, how like I love how these are just clearly like these are clearly like the old like generation one faces just made into like three D CGI and it strangely works. Yeah, it yeah, does. Like true. I think I think for a movie like this, this was the best way to go. Though granted, I still would have preferred two D animation. But hey, uh, this yeah. doesn't look bad. This honestly it doesn't look bad. I also think the eyes look All right, really so now good. We... They remind me of, like, I don't know, they just remind me of, like, big-ass light bulbs. Well, to oh, be yeah. fair, that's kind of what they are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do like that they're doing that, you know, they do more of the eyes rather than just having them be glowing lenses, if you know what I mean. Yeah. We got this big mofo. Now, this guy... I want to say that looks like Dreadwind. Uh, I think... Come on, you can't actually like help me. This shot. is... This is supposed to be Darkwing, which honestly, I got either a sick. Yeah, this guy reminded me of Six Shot a bit. And again, look at the detail. I love that you can actually see the the uh, the face mask move. Oh yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a good. That is and, a nice. That is a good attention to detail. And I, I love like that it's that. just like a. I love that the uh, even though the visor doesn't glow, it still pops with like the way it's reflecting. Oh yeah, I was just. Yeah, gonna, I agree. Yeah, I was gonna say. Does have a nice reflection on it. Yeah, instead of just being like a flat glow. Right. I think they're pulling a more obscured character, but then again, honestly, this like the design looks really. It does definitely remind me of like a lot of the season three designs, which I don't know. I kind of got annoyed they kept going with like the visor mouth plate for the head. It yeah. eventually got really annoying for me. Oh, I agree. It kind of got overplayed. Yeah. But, no, in this case, I mean, like... like there's just certain characters, it's like, not having an actual face kind of works for them. Yeah. And here's... Here's B. Our boy! Uh, I guess kinda. Please don't. Kinda. All I can say is, like, please don't make Bumblebee a Kenny. Yeah. Also... I don't know why, but I do kind of like the way his shoulders are shaped, because they are very G1 inspired. Oh, yeah, they are. They're incredibly G1 shaped. And I think he has a welder's oh mask God. on. Yeah, I was going to point that out. He's wearing a... Like a big-ass welder's mask. He also knows the Maybe a little hole. nod to animated? Check out the hole in the chest. 
It's not just B. Like Orion yeah, and the... Megatron has it too. I think. Now we don't typically that's think of where the. I think that's where the, the cogs, cogs are going to go, isn't it? Yeah, but I just yeah, never thought we see of like that a, later on. But... I just never thought like a T cog is something to go into the into the chest, but in the hole. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I mean, I, I really love the, like, yeah, yeah, you see, you can see it better here, like, uh, on PAX and Megatron. Yeah, I definitely see it. And again, yeah. I, get, I feel like it's like a total dick for not being able to show this. Well, maybe. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Sorry. Like, we'll again, I'm really sorry, everyone. folks. We'll leave a we'll leave a link in the we'll leave a link to the trailer in the description. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll link the trailer so y'all can like watch it. Maybe find some stuff we missed. Yeah, and if you do, you share it in the comments. Oh hey, I'm just noticing Please like these little you. bars on their chests, like right side of their chests. I wonder if that's like an identification code. You see Indeed. them? Yeah, I see. Yeah, them. I see it. I've been seeing it, but I I didn't want to point it out in case somebody else did. Yeah, but no, I, I I think like the animation, the reflections, this really works. They definitely do good. look like they made a metal. What the fuck is going oh, on with B's eyes? Oh god, this joke. No. Was that like an animation? Yeah. Okay, in this case, we should be grateful. I muted this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, like. Look, I'm sorry. No offense to the writers, because I know you're trying your hardest here, guys. But whoever came up with that joke should feel bad. <laughs> Before he See, was on even prom. look, 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 even look, even Pax and Megatron are like, who the fuck wrote that into the script? It's love it. We're just gonna call you him. B. Like, thank <laughs> you. Like, it, it was it was the case of C. Even the trailers agreeing with us. Yeah, we're just gonna call you B. Yep, we got that before he was up. He was up oh, I gotta, up. I gotta frame by frame this shot because it looks. Sick. You got super the touch. Look, at this, look at this superhero oh. landing. Super superhero. Oh landing. Also, the Matrix he has in his chest. I'm pretty sure that is. Like that is a fuck. That looks so fucking good. <laughs> it gives me very. This design is giving me very prime, very optim, very prime Optimus vibes in the head. Well, especially, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, especially in the helmet. Yeah, the helmet, and it's uh, with like kind of the bulk of the uh, of the High Moon games. Seriously, that is a wallpaper. Look at that! Oh my God! Look at! Look, oh God! ILM, you guys are fucking artists. Which, they are killing. I just ask, is this the first like fully animated film they've ever done? Have they done animation before? I can't remember. Well, I mean, CGI technically counts well, as animation. Well, but, like, okay, in aside this case, from like special it's... effect. Yeah. So. No, I, I want, I, I'm honestly not sure. I, I want to say this is the first, a uh, first time they're doing this, and I gotta say, this doesn't look bad. And I love that it isn't I mean, just like a straight. Oh, I love that it's not just a straight black silhouette. Like I love the shading around this. Yeah, like I on like I'll be honest, boys. I was afraid that like when that we finally got to see what the animation was going to look like for this movie with the trailer, I was afraid that they were going to get cheap with it. But no, it really looked like they're clearly going all out on this, and they did not need to, but. I appreciate that they are. Yeah. Like, this it's looks sad. good. Yeah. It's, you know... Like, I mean, I love stylized okay. animation as much as the next guy, but I'm kind of glad they didn't go too crazy, because I don't think you really need to go too stylized with something like Transformers. No, I think this looks just... This looks perfectly fine, in my opinion. Oh, this is serviceable. Yeah. Like, like, and I say... the. <sighs> audience you gotta understand the reason we're kind of blown away by this is because the last time transformers had a cinematic outing in the world of animation it didn't really it wasn't a financial success for the brand unfortunately yeah cult following yeah. yes but 
didn't exactly. The 86 movie technic- 86 movie technically flopped. Yeah, but oh, just yeah. fans don't want pretty to admit much. it. It te- it technically flopped and it's because it well the much- core audience it's because the core audience of young kids pretty much left the movie at the halfway mark, which is pretty much when Optimus Prime kicks the bucket. So yeah, and, and not to mention, it also pretty much derailed kind of the plans they originally had for the series after the because remember they were planning to end the show and make like a trilogy of movies to continue it. Yeah, and that didn't work out for them. Yeah, nope. but um. Yeah, we we don't say this to throw shade, but um, we kind of got some. We kind of got, you know, we, we kind of got some help from an outsider looking in on the '86 movie. Yeah, I mean, if you besides know, you, you know. know, yeah. But no, I mean, this looks, with... oh my God. this looks amazing. Like, this looks no joke, boys. This is just like, like I'm sorry, and this is just me. Ma- this is the only time I'm going to bring it up because I don't want to derail this, but like, yeah, Disney's wish, take a good fucking look at this because this is how you do stylized animation and do it right, damn it. <laughs> you know, it's say that because the guy who directed this uh, previously used to work for Pixar. <laughs> well, thank God. Well, to be fair, Wish wasn't a Pixar film, so I can't throw shade. Well, yeah. But um, uh, for what I've heard, the guy who directed this was one of the lead writers on Inside Out. So I say that's a good omen. At oh, least. yeah, that's a good sign. I was I'm gonna, actually well, okay. I'm with, glad you guys. You guys are fact, saying I'm that's actually, a good like, sign. I never watched that movie, so I couldn't judge his work. Yeah, bro. You, I think, Tom, you need you need to watch Inside Out. It's a damn good movie. Yeah. That just I think makes... he's only. Oh, sorry, go on. I was going to say, that just made me a whole hell of a lot more confident in this. Seriously, like, Inside Out is good. Oh, Justin's heading away, so we'll just keep looking at this fabulous... Seriously, just one word for this shot with, like, Prime doing the superhero landing. Fabulous! Hey, guys, sorry about that. Somebody... <laughs> Are you good? Seriously. Yeah, but I was going to say, like, uh, he has directed before, but I think the only other movie he's directed was the fourth Toy Story movie. Which I actually did finally get around to watching that recently, and it's watchable. That's the most compliment. Well, Well, here's the thing. I don't even blame him for that one, though, Justin. I just more blame the fact that Disney was like, Hey, we need to make we need to Pixar. We need you to make a movie for us. So make another Toy Story movie. Yeah, yeah. Also, I love the oh. CB. Oh, I also love this shot. Like, I just think it's clever that you know Megatron and Orion actually have like headlamps, kind of like, like miners would. Oh, yeah, like miner helmets. As... Yeah, I, I think that like, makes a lot of sense. Up. That's clever. Oh, and I love, I just love this shot of, like, the saw going through the, uh, what I'm assuming is Energon. Though it's so, pur- it's so purple, I thought, it, I think it's, it looks like dark Energon. Well, it no, I think it's be, just the, I think it's what, just the, I think it's just the lighting. It's just the lighting. Well, if I recall, wasn't the light, wasn't the Energon in, like, G1 kind of purplish? Kind that of a, was, technically. It, kind of a pinkish purple. Okay, yeah, this we... kind of looks pinkish. I don't know. I think it's more of a dark purple, but that just might be. I, apparently, I'm a bad judge of color. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to say something. So I take this as I'm doing some seeking. Yeah, we. What I'm assuming is some sort of like train station. We see some bots moving some bots. Is that the lead one down there? That looks like, like a RC. Rather... Oh yeah, the. And... Oh wait! Is that oh, dude? The one with the that, that looks like Brock. Damn, I was thinking the I same thing. Looking... Look, doesn't that look like Braun? The one holding the crate there. He kind of does look. Yeah, like Braun. I can. Turns out it's bulkhead. <laughs> dude, they actually That'd have Braun in this. That would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, can, do... I can't I can't also, wait that... when this movie comes out because. I can't wait when this movie comes out because I'm going to be looking in the background to see who all I can oh, recognize. Oh, you guys see the the lightish blue one? 
the guy in the yeah, far corner. Yeah. The back. Why is that making me think yeah. Blur? I was thinking more of Cup. That oh, yeah, too. That is more of Cup's I was... coloration. I don't know why I was thinking Chromia. Um, Maybe uh, also that one like bulky guy right there kind of makes me think of Grimlock. Eh, he's kind of got Grimlock's bit. colors. Also, there's a white, there's the a white one stepping out there. I wonder if that's Jazz. That's either I'd say I'm putting my money on that's either Jazz or Prowl. Yeah, I Ooh, mean maybe we're completely wrong and these are just a bunch of faceless nobodies, but I mean it's it would be awesome if they were actually. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying this pink, yeah, exactly. that, this pinkish one, uh, just like right by the uh, the train door. I'm saying that's RC. Yeah, I don't think it does look more RC. And yeah, that one guy, the guy holding the crate, does look like Brawn, doesn't he? He totally looks Little. like Brawn. I mean, He's we could be, be nothing. We could be dead. I mean, we could all be just like dead ass wrong about all these characters, and yeah, but it's fun to speculate. Exactly. Again, this looks. Uh, these trains honestly do remind me of um, like the ones in War for Cybertron. War for Cybertron. And I love that you actually see graffiti on them. Oh yeah, yeah I was just nice gonna point that out. <laughs> just like real train cars. Yeah, exactly. Somebody drew a dick on the wall. <laughs> and again, you, I love like the de- yeah. Even Alita has like that. Uh, no, Alita, cover yourself, please. This is a children's movie. <laughs> I'm so- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. You're not sorry at all. Don't lie. No, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of goobers he was Orion Pax. Orion Pax I do like that Alita actually does like she actually looks like a young Alita I mean maybe she'll be called Ariel in this I don't know then again Hasbro could have I, been, I look- think Disney gonna sue our asses can't sue it it's a common oh, name she... But no, I, I, I actually... worked with a girl named Ariel once um, you know something? I actually do like that there is still some size variation between them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you... Yeah, B is pretty... Sh- yeah, B is still kind of short. Take note. Yeah, right. take some notes, Cyberverse. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we love you, Cyberverse, though. We do have to admit the scaling was a bit whack. The scaling was the scale... scuffed. Is this McAdams? Also, yeah, I was just going to say, is, you think this... I was going to say, you think this is McAdams... Could be. Iacon 5000. Ooh. Is that like a... That's a race. Yeah. Like the Indy 500. (laughs) I I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's meant to be the Indy 500. I do love that it's like Pax trying to convince Megatron to leave. Like, what I'm assuming is Cybertron's underground. And I know, I know, I keep comparing this, but this looks like the Coruscant underground in Attack of the Clones. You can't, you can't make me not think it. Oh, it definitely does, Uh... Like, like, I just... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it more clearly. Yeah, that's clearly a Decepticon logo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on Mega... Oh, yeah, you can even see, like, the lot... Oh, my God. You can actually see the details on it. It looks like it's... I like that the Decepticon logo looks like it's actually... Like, it's angry. Like, it's scowling. No, I love that it's actually... <laughs> like, it's more painted on than, like, rather, like, welded on like it usually is. Right. But again, it's I'm probably going to change. But no, no, I just it's probably going to change by the end of the movie. Now I'm just looking at the back and yeah. trying to find Hayden Christensen and Ian McGregor chasing an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Stay yeah, away from the power lines. Be one's going to kill me. <laughs> oh my god! Look at the details. Look at those lips. Look at the eyes. They make me think of like camera lenses. I do like the I do like the hex I like the hexagonal shape they have. Yeah, I I think that's clever. God, like the the, yeah. the like the detail. I don't think I don't think we've gotten this much attention to detail on like a on the on the Transformers face since um since Prime. Yeah, especially for something came, like and that and just to remind everybody, yes, that came out over a decade ago. Oh my. god. God, we're it's getting old. Still looks impressive. Oh yeah, yeah. don't get me wrong. The, the, the CG still looks amazing on that show, but just 
Holy shit. The, robots. the humans are a little rough, but that's beside the point. Yeah, but they get better with time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, God. And again, I love that they're using, like, his prototype helmet from, like, the promotional I images do too. of uh, Jim yeah, the first G1. cartoon. Yeah, and bef- before he was Megatron. Oh, 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 this, this, this shot. shot. This is another this wallpaper. This is another shot. This is another Megat- wallpaper shot. <laughs> Look at that beautiful bucket head. Look at exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I want all of you to look at it. Of course, I. I just realized. Look. I just look. I just. I just noticed something. Look on his shoulder. It looks like he's got like the trigger. Oh my god. Or whatever it is he had in G one. Yeah. No. 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 It was. It was that. It was the hammer of his pistol load. Yeah. 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 I Um, remember that. Seriously, this shot alone. How much you want to bet this is going to be like at the end of the movie? <laughs> oh, I bet it will be. Oh my! Oh, but yeah, it's an oh, awesome oh, shot. He, just, he oh. looks intimidating. I was supposed to say he looks inti- He looks badass as fuck. This is it looks it, scary. It, yes, exactly. Like, well, that's what you want him to look because he's a he's Megatron and he's a villain. He's like Sauron in the Terminator did the fusion dance. I'm a villain. Come on, you gotta like, you gotta admit that's a perfect description. He's like a mix of Sauron yeah. and a Terminator. Yep. <laughs> oh my. Oh. oh, it's so beautiful. Seriously. It really is. Like everyone, you... and like everyone's listening to this podcast like fucking assholes. Like, fuck. Yeah, I know. Hey, you know what? You know what you always do, people. Use your imagination. Or, you know, go and watch the trailer. Imagine. Yeah, go watch the yeah, trailer, that's it. please. <laughs> Look at... I love the sparks flying around him, too. Oh, me too. That just adds to the atmosphere. Oh, my it really does. God, this looks so... Oh, it's the classic bucket head. <laughs> it just looks amazing. What is exactly. that squared jaw? And like, just, way, just, just like the look on his face, that scowl. Uh, he's so evil. Also, I do kind of like that it looks like he's got like a metal goatee. He's got like a, he's yeah, got a soul patch. <laughs> I'm a soul man. Yeah. And look, yeah. And also, oh. yeah. Yeah, I mean, go back to what you said, uh, Hunter, about this this is probably going to be at the end of the movie. I guarantee, like, you know, that's him dropping that brand with the Decepticon logo is going to be, like, after he probably brands himself with the Decepticon logo. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, yeah, that shot of the Decepticon symbol brand. Oh, my. First of all, like the... First of all, like the... Animated uh, vibes. First of all, yeah, like yeah, the, that... the look of like the heated metal looks phenomenal. Yeah, like that actually looks like heated pounded metal. Yeah, exactly. That's like Sauron. It, it, it gives me very much like vibes of Sauron forging the One Ring. <laughs> one logo to cover that gaping hole in my chest. <laughs> no, that just looks so damn good. Like that is that is perfectly foreboding. Exactly. Oh, this sh- do- oh this shot. I am curious like, as to what this is. Yeah. Again, this looks. Look at the lighting is so goddamn good. Wait, keep going. Keep going. Wait a minute. I think I okay. Does here's that my remind you of what if this is like? Yeah, what I'm about to say. What if that's? What if that's supposed to be like a statue of Megatronus? It. I've heard that too. Remember, like that he, could I be Megatronus, and honestly, the way this the, the, be, the way the mask this is, could be it, like, it's giving me like vibes from of a uh, Tarn. That too, that too but. but... I do agree. I do agree with you. I think this probably is a statue of Megatronus, and this is probably the part where Megatron decides he's going to take Megatronus's name, like name himself after Megatronus. Yeah, 
because I'm sorry, but this Megatron is was sorry, his hero. I, I get what you're all going for with right. these sixteen, but you're all making them sound like some like a Star Wars droid. So we're just gonna keep calling him Megatron. Yeah. Well, no, because remember, well, no, like that's a nod to the IEW comics because originally he didn't even have a name; he was just D sixteen. Oh yeah. Oh well. That, never mind. I I retract my statement. Thank you, Hunter. You thought you thought it was a oh, reference you're... to the pistol. <laughs> Well, that is well, well that, well, well, no, but no, the but the, but no, you're actually not far off from that, Justin. The designation D16 actually is a, uh, it's a, it's a nod to the original G1 toy because like the, uh, right, it's like the toys did actually have like, uh, I think they had like A or D for Autobot Decepticon and like the number was just like the serial code number or something like that or whatever it is right. for like the toys like when they're when they're like cataloging them. Right. And Megatron's was D sixteen, so yeah, that actually is a sort of deep cut to that too. Yeah. Nice. And no, not the pistol. That was he was a Walther P thirty eight. Oh right, right. I know, I know. Big shocker, I know that. That's fine. That's all good. But like this next shot coming up, holy damn! Oops, I I meant to go frame by frame. That is a huge ass ship. People Can I just are... say the design of this Quintesson ship kind of makes me think of the Nemesis from Prime? I was about to say, this is giving me big Nemesis vibes. And I'm not the only but one. You wanna... Yeah, I see it too. But I also I mean, kind of like the... the look of it because it has this very almost like... I'm just going to say it. Even though it's a ship, it almost looks like it's a sentient being. Like It almost looks like it a looks... big creature. Well, especially like, like when you consider the front there, it almost looks like it's got like a million eyes. It looks like some sort of. It looks like some sort of Eldridge evil. Like this is something, well, which, very this is something you find in H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. Well, which makes sense because the Quintessons technically are a mix of like organic and machinery. Yeah. In certain depictions, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Oh, I love this. Just like the just putting on the jet pack. And again, you can see again, like the, the scowling Decepticon. Decepticon logo. <laughs> just, it yeah. looks. Like, I love that it looks like it's scowling, just silently like, judging us all. Oh, and I love this highway scene. I know this looks so good. So when a transformer crashes, do they need car insurance or health insurance? Probably both. Also, honestly, the coloration is making me think of sea spray on this guy. This poor son of a bitch. It does kind of look like me... sea spray. Actually, it's more making me think die on. Uh, you know, honestly, if I were to do my own take on like the story of this film, not that I don't like B, but I would use die on just because I feel like I don't know. My brain would be would be much more accepting at this like point in Prime and Megatron's story. And I'm not saying I don't like B. Okay. No, no, we get it. We but, totally get it. it. Is that a seeker? That's what I was gonna say. Like, I think, are they that, being was, I think that was Darkwing from earlier, and or Darkwind or whatever the hell. And honestly, I, 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 okay, drinking game. Take a shot every time I make a Star Wars reference. This is making me think of the Mandalorian fighters. Bottoms, D don't it? Like, look Little. at this. It kind of looks like the one Bo-Katan had in The Mandalorian. But no, I mean, just oh, like... bottoms have, up again. Just like, have fun just guessing who some of these son, who some of these guys are. Um, I don't know who this green mofo is. He's uh, green and white. Uh, Maybe he's Wheeljack. Eh, a little chunky for Wheeljack, but then again, like, considering his look and... I also just love how bulbous the uh, the jetpacks are. So there's a hover car right there that kind of reminds me of G1 Blur's alt mode. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit, does. yeah. Though it has Sentinel's, like, colorations. I think that could be Sentinel oh. chasing them. And also these, like, the, this road with, like, the big-ass green arrows or teal arrows give me yeah. room for Cybertron flashbacks and... Also, strangely enough, like a racing game. A straight-up Mario Kart vibes. 
Yeah. Maybe that maybe that maybe that guy in that crash earlier slipped on a banana. <laughs> Blue shell, bitch. Again, I love We survived, survived this I'm gonna kill you! I accept those terms. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the banter nice. between these two are gonna be because we haven't heard like prime. It's gonna be a all... high it's get Yeah, private like that's the thing I like about this. Like it's interesting that we're having Optimus or Orion, sorry. Kind of the adventurous kind of... one. Yeah, I, I like that he's being a little witty. We haven't gotten a lot of that. Right. Also, also, also um, these frames are also giving me a uh, fall for cyber or war for Cybertron flashbacks. Yeah. Um. All, but the the honestly, upside down, it's giving me like Valerian. It's giving me Valerian vibes. The the upside down uh, skyscrapers. I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> like that's some Inception shit. <laughs> yeah. We also. This must be them breaching the surface. Yeah. Also, I wonder what these crystal things are that are growing up all over the place. I don't know, but I think crystal it's kind of city. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting guess. What'd you say? That's the only thing I can think. The crystal city, maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. Okay, maybe that's another meme. I can't click the button. It's okay. too far away. Okay, not sure. That's not sure. That's the close-up Alita wanted. <laughs> this fall. And again, I feel like everyone, everyone just listening to this, like, show the trailer, you fucking assholes. No, we're not gonna get copyright struck. I mean, I'm already. Yeah, we pushing don't have any money to pay for that shit. I'm, I'm already like, I'm already pressing my luck with like, um, the Autobot symbol for this podcast episode. But no, I think this shot here looks really good. I don't know why, but this it sun, does. this sun like this like this like shot of like either a sunrise or a sunset. I seriously think like this. Like, I think I've seen like album posters just like this once. Oh, I totally have. And like, also, like again, if there's if there's one thing we can say, boys, is that this movie does not again. Granted, this is just the first trailer, but still, this looks like it's going to be a visually a gorgeous looking movie i want to point out it looks like there's an aurora in the, in the guy back. there oh yeah in the background as yeah. they're like riding by seeing the surface of cybertron it looks yeah, yeah that looks fantastic and again i love the size of it like i said i am so i'm pretty sure we can all agree we're all kind of excited to see a transformers movie that again explores more cybertron than just the city yeah yeah, like this is something that fans have been wanting for years, and this movie is finally giving it to us. I'm excited. Yeah. And uh, by the way, let's just take a quick look at how far we are. Oh, look at that. We're almost an hour and a half already. We aren't through the entire trailer. Oh, okay. I'm trying to call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to go. For those of you who don't know, like. I was talking about like you know we're just gonna have like maybe two hours to talk about this, this and Hunter was like two hours just for the, on the trailer, dude. There, honestly, we might just end up doing it at this rate. <laughs> Come on, let's hear it. Come on, you know nope, I was I'm, right. No, I'm not gonna. Nope, I'm not saying it. And here's what I'm affectionately going to be calling the Bambi Trons. <laughs> Actually, they kind of instead of. They don't so much make me think deer. They make me more think like antelope or gazelles. Ah. Yeah. I got to agree point. With you I mean, it's still cool it to see some, nice. some like wildlife. Oh, Again, I it think nice it's awesome. More... It is nice to see more Cybertronian animals because I think the last time we ever saw that was Cyberverse. Yeah. Again, like I said, yeah, I mean, again, like the only time. Like when it comes, like I said, when it comes to Cybertronian wildlife in Transformers fiction, like, we mostly get that for comics. Like when it comes to TV shows and the movies and stuff, it's like you're lucky if you get that at all. And even then, it's yeah. typically the more monstrous um, variations. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah so I'm kind of hoping like 
this shot in particular is really making me hope we'll get more scenes like this in the movie where it's again just the characters exploring and meeting different kinds of wildlife but i'm still gonna call it baby be frogs because the joke is right there so fuck off yeah. <laughs> also also it'd be nice maybe you could actually sorry i was just trying to think of like how it's... i was gonna say the origin of like how Soundwave gets laser beak and ravage Oh yeah, I did love that in Cyberverse that like Laserbeak was actually a, a wild inhabitant. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, love makes just, sense. And not just maybe like, we'll yeah, get the, the yeah, way this is. It not does just make laser me, beak, but right. I do Sorry. love that. You know, now that you mention it, yeah, the way they're moving across these lands, it is more like gazelle. Right. I flew like a predominantly land animal. Oh. Also, oh my yeah, god, we're you like, guys notice like, like the... You guys, oh, go ahead. I'll say, also, it looks like we're in like an abandoned city, so again... Oh yeah, this is some sort of abandoned... Insul- but you guys see the laser on the ground? Oh yeah, yeah yep. I see it, see, I see it, yeah, the little uh, the target reticle there. <laughs> yeah, while we're talking about I video games... I did not notice that, that's funny. Yeah, while we're talking about like, video games references... Yeah, but no, oh, yeah, just this shot of this deer about to get obliterated. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. (laughs) This is, oh, Bambi, no. Wow. That shot. Wow. Overkill. Wow, Cybertron's version of Bambi is way more explosive. Meanwhile, meanwhile in the Korean production of Pinocchio. <laughs> oh my! Oh, and, oh! And this was also a part of the the trailer that actually got a good giggle out of me. Like they're all just like all of like the cast seeing just some sort of danger. I'm gonna play this in real time. That one frame of B just turning and fucking booking it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, oh my no. God. Oh my god, that is a, like I said, that is a meme. <laughs> that's, 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 I agree, it is awesome. That, that is me when I got it, when I am hauling ass to the bathroom to take a wicked poo. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I don't... It reminds me of that scene in The Bug's Life when the bird first sh- shows up and Flick just fucking hauls ass. Wow, he's pretty fast for a little guy. Tweet, 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 tweet. No, seriously, it's like, like, it's like two, like, let, let, let's count how many frames this is. One, two, two three, four, three, four, five, four, five six, seven. It's Nine. just like it's like six frames, and he is gone. <laughs> he is he is booking it. He is out of there. <laughs> He's just like, yep, nope, 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 A thousand nope, 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 so much nope. I don't know why that's funny. Oh, shit. Oh, but shit. god damn it is like that is that is uh, like that that joke that jokes like it is such a simple it is like a classic and it slays me it, it, it pretty yeah, much that... just about makes you forget about the bad acetron joke so yeah <laughs> I will I will forgive you. I will forgive you now because you gave us such a much better joke. The only thing that could have made that better was that there was just like a perfect dust silhouette of him next to the others. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I got the perfect oh. meme for this. When Robin realizes Batman has disappeared. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Uh, Every Transformer. I need to know what the hell this thing is. Well, it's obviously the mouth of a cave, but yeah, why does it look like it has teeth? 
Mm. I've considered this is so like look like giant radishes. <laughs> oh my god, they do. Hon yeah. Honestly, this is making me. This is honestly giving me like Felucia vibes. Take a shot. Bro. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what this is? Hey, I was, I, like I said, it is giving me more like Treasure Planet vibes. Yeah, either Treasure. Like, Same. this is like. This is like. Honestly, this is some God of War shit with like entering the giant monster's mouth. I just have so many questions. Who's this dead mofo? They, Maybe that's Onyx Prime? Does it look like he's got, he's got wings. like wings. Yeah. You know, I he, for some reason he's making me think of um Metal Hawk. Eraser. Yeah, that too. Yeah, Metal Hawk from the IDW comics. <clears throat> well, technically <laughs> Japanese side of G1, but still. I mean, that... Well, that's where I found out about him. There. No, but I do love that, like, the paint is... Like, like on this... What I'm assuming is a corpse. The paint is all faded. There's some overgrowth. Right. Like I said, it could also just be a statue. Hmm. It's either a statue or a corpse. Kind of hard to tell the difference their... with giant robots, ain't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Sir, this is like where they're you know, going to meet Alpha Trion. This could just be where he buried his fallen brothers. A tomb of the primes. Yeah. Could, be, could very well be. Here's a good look at all the protoforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look good. Trion has seen better days. Oh my god, like... Justin, now that I'm actually looking at it, yeah, I get very Bionicle vibes. Also, also the uh, cape thing on the back of, on his back there, kind of reminds me of, like, what Statinal had in Dark of the Moon. I was thinking the exact yeah, same thing. Yeah, it kind of does. Not a bad thing. I think Tryon rocks it. Yeah. He's looking like I mean, Dan... He, he also, like... you notice... He's looking also, like you Dan... Notice... Also, you notice... To be fair, Sentinel and uh, Dark of the Moon had a very Alpha Trion vibe to him. With all right, his design. all right, all right. I just gotta make this joke. Since like Death Bat already called him Robot Gandalf, he's kind of looking like Gandalf the Scuffed. <laughs> Gandalf the Scuffed. Also, also, I want to point this out. It does kind of look like one of the little prawns on his helmet is broken. Wait, wait. If he's Gandalf, was... does that mean my Cronus is Bilbo Baggins? Yes. <laughs> wait. I, I, I was just gonna say, I actually don't mind that Alpha Trion looks kind of roughed up. I mean, it makes sense. He's like a very old. Oh, I just noticed something. Yeah. Uh, on his right shoulder, it looks because if you look at his shoulders, his right shoulder looks like it's missing that shoulder pad. I mean, his left. Left, yeah. His left, our right. right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I you see, see it. it right? like, he looks. Homie, yeah. like, he God. looks like he's missing a few parts, which Homie... again, giving how yeah, old Tri... he is, Homie looks well, yeah, like he got Tri roughed looked... up in the streets of Detroit for a thousand years. Yeah, it's like seriously, how long ago was the city abandoned? Yeah, and here we got the uh, the transformation cogs. Which look exactly yeah. how they were in G1, which I appreciate. Yeah. Also how they look. Well, it's how they look. That's how they've looked in just about all media they've popped up in. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Just... Jesus Christ. The details we've noticed. Like, everyone and their brother can tell we've never been laid. Also, I do like the detail of, like, Alpha Trion having kind of moss growing on him. Yeah. Again, just indicate he's very old. Or a okay, I'm actually kind of noticing like he's. I'm kind of noticing he, like he's got a few like holes in him that look like 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 rust is like really eating away at his at his arm body. Yeah. But I'm no, kind of I hoping think... he'll have a. I'm wondering what kind of besides what we see here. I'm kind of wondering what his role in the movie is going to be. Yeah, I kind of like how like. 
It almost looks like he almost looks like like a prototype. Like he he de you can definitely tell he's a much lack of a better term older Old model. Yeah, yeah, well, he has yeah, a yeah. Well, I mean, like because remember the primes were basic. The pr the original thirteen primes were, are basically who mo all modern Cybertronians are technically descended from. Yeah, and, right. and, and if anyone's confused, no, these aren't sparks. They I think these are supposed to be T cogs. T cogs. Oh, yeah. they clearly are because because these guys have the ability to transform. It seems like, based on what we saw earlier in the trailer, it looks like certain like depend like maybe transformation is something you're given based on like your productivity in society or something like that. Or cast. That's what training. I'm saying. For me, that assuming the cast system is meant to be a thing. Uh, yeah, but um. Right. Which, Honestly, Seriously, I'm Lawrence Fishburne like... as Robot Gandalf. My life is now complete. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Honestly, I think the way they handled this... I think they were trying to go something other than just giving him, like, the classic facial hair. While still giving, like, that silhouette. It and it's... Yeah. Uh, can you... Oh, you know what? I'm wait, sorry, wait. oh my god, I you know what this is reminding... Can... You know what this is actually reminding me of? Like the facial structure, it reminds me of how the primes looked in in Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, it has a very alien, for lack of a better word, motif. And I think yeah. this definitely used what that was going for and and improved upon it. Well, like I shared uh, the other day, I shared some images that from this artist uh, that I follow on DeviantArt. I honestly yeah. love what he's his take on the primes. Like, yeah, compared to modern Cybertronians, like he okay, like his uh, his name is for those wondering. His name is Guillermo TF Master on DeviantArt. I highly recommend checking him out. He's a fantastic artist. He's awesome. I've seen a lot. Uh, he, I've seen all his stuff. He's making a fan. He also is doing a fan comic that's really good, like his own creation. I definitely recommend checking it out if you get a chance. I I. I but, uh, I'm sorry, but I just keep looking like, at Alpha in the case of the... I'll let you go, but I gotta talk about Tryon's model when you're done. It's just looking at the, looking at Alpha Tryon here. Not gonna lie, boys. And again, knowing that he's voiced by Lawrence Fishburne, all I can think is like I'm just look. I'm just picturing him saying to Optimus, "You just have to believe, Orion." <laughs> but no, Morpheus said the prophecy would be fulfilled through. Okay, never mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, no, it's okay. But no, I mean, I just love, like, you can see, like, again, I, I, I wish I could put it be in better words, but, like, you can see, like, the like the wider, more defined, like, mouth and jawline. Like, he doesn't really have, like, the same lips as them. Like, the face is clearly much more, I guess, skeletal. Right. I see what you mean, because it is more like kind of an older looking, like, you know, robot design. Yeah. Indeed. Hey, yeah, we got like, the... Again, it, make... oh. it, like, it make, makes sense for Alpha Trion because, like, again, he's one of the original... Like I said, like, I feel like having the Primes feel older makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I also just love, like, the sequence of how their, like, bodies change. Oh yeah, from proto form to like now actually having yeah. an alt model, and you can actually see like the TCOG spinning. I know. It, it, yeah, you see here like they're actually kind of buffing up. Yeah, I love the gl like the blue glow effect on their bodies too. Same. And you like? Uh, oh, I like, love. Like... Oh, oh, I love this shot. You got you guys see like the purple on Megatron. Yeah, uh -huh. I love in the business we call that foreshadowing. <laughs> right. And yeah, I'll be honest, you see it. the fusion cannon design we see here, it reminds me of Shockwave slingshot from that's... from Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I love it. Really triple does. Barreled. Holy shit! I love this new take on his fusion cannon. At least from what we I see of it. Right. Oh, oh! I, I just noticed, like on the upper corner, you can actually see that classic bit of um, like abdomen design of oh, G one yeah, yeah, with the red dot in the middle, including the little dot in the middle. I. This is why I yeah. love going through these trailers frame by frame with you guys. Yeah. 
Alita's getting herself some new pumps. Yep. With the with the wheels. <laughs> right. And getting a new head head design. Oh yeah, we're getting some more of that like classic Alita design cue. Exactly. You can see the wheels on B's ankles. Right. It looks oh, like God. it looks like that new uh it looks like getting those teacocks really cleaned up their paint scheme. Ryan he Ryan said, he said. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, when he said more than BCI. It's like ah, ah he said it, he said it. Like Yeah, they man. definitely do look a lot more shinier now. Like God. Definitely much more bulky. Yeah, look at the shot. God damn. Megatron looks Megs like a freaking football dips. player. Megs has been doing dips for days. <laughs> he, he got, yeah, Megs is looking like that. I, like I do like how Optimus kind of has little fins on his helmet. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, it's not. Now it's even. Now he looks even more like that, uh, that Generations Orion Pax figure. Yeah. He does. Yeah, Alita's like classic kind of like fins on her on the side of her helmet are more pronounced. Right. Okay, now I'm now noticing it now. B B's helmet here does look a little bit more like in line with his recent live action movie counterpart. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, Which, it does. To be fair, they, the, the fact that the B one twenty one twenty I'm this is supposed to be like the official prequel for this new timeline. I yeah, I just really love... Uh... Has it been confirmed that this is a prequel to that timeline? Honestly, I don't know and I don't care. I'm still going to probably enjoy this, but yeah, B's helmet yeah, definitely yeah, gives more the vibe of, vibe of his like recent live Bumblebee action. and Rise of the Beasts. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't mind because I love that design. Again, these are... Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at... Oh, this is actually clever. I'm looking more at... Like, they did get like the the like the like fin design of, her, of Alita's G1 helmet. And kind of melded it a little bit with the Leia Bun style earpieces of RC. This... It kind of reminds me of RC's design from War for Cybertron. A little. Yeah, a little bit. Still, I'm glad Alita's getting a little more love. Oh, I am too. Same. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they first def- Earth, first they Earth def- Spark and now this. Yeah. Hell yeah. They definitely bulked up and just. Whoopsie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> have a nice fall and also we just oh, want to talk about these bat- say- oh go ahead oh yeah I was, I was gonna say uh these uh soldiers don't they look like prime vehicons they yes they do, do. <laughs> i i the seeker know, seeker vehicons you know what i strangely like that their faces what? are completely blank like that is like oh, such a ass. simple thing, but it makes them so effective of just making them seem like drones. Yeah, I was gonna say basically, you think that's meant to be symbolic. Cannon. Yeah, they're basically just gonna be cannon fodder. The the wings are making me think of the fa- the war for Cybertron seekers. I just love how they're turning. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, who are these losers? Oh, and then like the scene where they're trying right. to transform, and oh, also. Oh, go- I didn't notice something hey, before. Hey, hey, on, guys. Like, I'll be, I'll be right back. I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta go take a whiz real quick. I, right. hang on. Being chased by seekers. Oh yeah, right there in like the corner. Those, They're getting. Yeah, I think those are the same guys. Yeah, I think those are the same guys who just. Yeah, I think it's these guys. Yeah. Um. I, also, I might just bite the bullet and play a little bit of the sound bit from from this trailer just because i sadly recognize one of the sound effects they used oh really yeah i I, i'll 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 bite the bullet just this once uh when hunter gets back right yeah when hunter gets back also i just i don't know why i just love the design of these we'll just keep calling them via cons yeah let's be fair they are giving they are giving serious you know prime via con vibes here like i don't know like i feel like i don't know something about like the helmet design is like familiar to me like prime vehicons oh oh, wait wait look at the helmet it almost looks like the visors might actually like fold up Uh, oh yeah i can see kind of like the uh the slit in the helmet 
Yeah, so maybe they actually do fold up kind of like Knight's visors. That would be interesting. But no, serious. I think this... Do you, I don't know why, but I always love like a good grunt design. Right. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to spend most of the movie blowing them the hell up, they might as well look cool. Yeah, might as well look good. They're going to get blown up. Might as well look good while doing it. Hey, drip or drown, even to the grave. I, I, I know it's so stupid to be impressed by just unpainted metal and a blank face. Yeah. Which, I, a, which, like I said, it's what, good. It's effective. Yeah. Like I also, said, I wonder if they're going to use that as kind of like a type of symbolic symbolism. symbolism for like just, yeah, for just how this right. society is run. All right, all right. I'm going to bite the bullet here. I'm going to play a little bit of a sound bite from the trailer. I'm going to play it, and I'm going to tell you guys where I know the sound effect from. Just listen carefully. Okay. Sorry if I blew out anyone's eardrums, but like that, 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 that squeaking, creaking sound effect of the transformation... That's yeah. from Revenge of the Fallen. Yep, Devastator. No, uh, that was yeah. no, that was from when Jetfire was first transforming when he was stuck in his SR seventy one. Oh my! Oh my God! Yeah, bro, good ear. I mean, I don't mind because I actually yeah. liked the transformation sound effects from those movies. Oh no, me too. I thought what they were. Of... What sort of hideous mausoleum is this? <laughs> but no, I just that was a that was a fun little and I, I just love that and I think it works here because this is the first time his like Pax's body is doing anything like this. Right. And I yeah, do love that you like see like a panel on power. his chest open up to to show the rest of his windshield. Like you see yeah, the grill like of, his, of the front of his truck mode is forming. You see what I think are the smokestacks. Yeah, I yep. do like the way they fold into his shoulders there. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like, it's working. It's working. <laughs> well, then... I, I love the way his head folds back, kind of like how the toys usually oh, he, do. Oh, yeah. I just, and, I don't know, and now he's a super battle, now he's a super battle droid. Like, Where's my head? Where's my head? Where's my head? <laughs> you should have quit while you were still ahead. And I love how Meg's is like foot, just, like he he basically gets a peg leg. Yeah, exactly. It's like partially transformed into the treads. Yeah, yeah. He has a peg leg now. Yeah. Hey, he's. Yeah, he's one step closer to achieving his secret dream of becoming a pirate. <laughs> I gotta admit, for having a for having a sudden peg leg, he's doing okay. Yeah, especially for being shot at. He's dealt with worse. And seriously, I honestly, again, like, when you're going frame by frame, the transformation animation. Did you do like this car impressive. design for Bumblebee? It, I mean, it's clearly based on how he looked in the in the B movie. Yeah, that's clearly, right. like, that's clearly what. So, again, I'm convinced this has to be, like, tied in with the new movies. Somebody, some and, although, although I think these guys could have really benefited from reading their instructions. <laughs> let's face it we've all had these moments like when we were transforming these things don't lie what do you guys think of Alita what do you guys think of Alita looks like Alita turns into like a motorcycle can I be like kind of 100% honestly, with y'all it almost yeah. kind of looks more like an ATV it kind of does like a, like a motorcycle slash ATV but I kind of liked the uh, like the like the Jeep mode she had in Earth Spark. I don't know. Well, like, just, I that think, was a nice one. Well, I think they're kind of going for something like that. Like it's a very off-road looking vehicle. And really. I won't lie, I think the joke here of like B taking a nosedive, and then he finally oh, yeah. gets his wheels. wheels I out, need wheels. Yeah. And then just the wheels appear. He's like, yeah. got him. <laughs> okay, I omit that joke. I'll, like okay, even if like okay, where bees like bees puns, or like like stand up might not work. I think it'll more than make up for it. In, like his his slap shtick. Yeah. The also, wheels, I, I need wheels. Also, you notice how like I think that's supposed to be the cab of this car mode. There's nowhere for yeah. like a person to sit there and 
there really wouldn't be a need for that, which... Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, they didn't <sighs> have to, like, consider that detail, but they did. I so appreciate it. But it looks like this whole section of his vehicle was taken up by a giant-ass engine. Yeah, because you can see the little uh, exhaust pipe ports on the back there. You can see... Uh, on, the side, like, on the side there, yeah. Yeah, it's a, they're either exhaust ports or pistons. Yeah. Also, can I just say the way his wheels look are giving me serious, like, War and Fall of Cybertron vibes? Oh, oh clearly. Oh, clearly. Hang on. Woo! I'm trying to get, like, the frame-by-frame frame to work again. Yeah. But, yeah, I just like, woo! <laughs> and I half expected Bumblebee just have that bush, just, like, holding that bush over his head. Thank you for not going for that gag. Yet. You should try hiding behind a moving bush. They seem to be easily fooled. Later for, later on that day for night. <laughs> but, no, I love this fleet shot. Oh, yeah, of the Quintesson ships. Which definitely don't look like the Septicon ships. Yes, right. they do. Don't lie. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be the Sea of Rust. B. You got not... Okay, no, no. Don't, don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. I was gonna make another joke about this little sentiment, but I'm like, no, I, I want people to I want my I want my viewers to get through this this whole thing sober. Uh, Ish. But no, you got a little sentiment right here around what's gotta be the sea of rust. Yeah. Again, looks like the Quintesson ships have eyes. And yeah, they do almost look like they're like organic in a way. Yeah. This this some Cthulhu shit. It really does feel cool. like it. Like I'm digging these designs. Same yeah. here. You think? Oh you think like, this could be Alpha? You think this could be like Alpha Q? This Their version be. of it could be. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh no! Don't worry, I've seen enough. Hunt I mean, don't don't worry, Central. Enough... You're a male robot. This ain't gonna go where you think it's going. Also, can I just say those wings? Also, can I just say those like wings on Sentinel's back remind me of G One Scourge? Yeah, oh, he oh, thank yeah, God, I'm not bit. the only one. And by the way, you can also see some like gold jet vehicles back there. I wonder if those are like the commanders. Could be. If it's gonna go for like kind of like a Star Wars battle droid thing. He, 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 I'll be honest, this Quintessence making me think of a demonic Squidward with the green on him. You let them escape! Who apparently... Like, means get a little Squidward. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who apparently just did a fat Energon bong hit with the pink smoke coming out of him. Seriously, I look... Honestly, these Quintessons are giving me very Bionicle vibes, and I'm digging it. Oh my god, that's... Oh, and I actually like... You, you almost see, like, this, like, organic, fleshy stuff coming up coming out through the armor oh yeah, yeah. They almost, they're almost they're like a mix of techno or and organic they're giving me vibes of the it? aliens from independence day yeah they give me very yeah, much kinda, they especially, the, make you think of harvesters. especially the uh the soldier quintessons we see standing outside of the oh yeah you know, ramp like the, there. the ones that yeah like the uh the four-legged uh bastards yeah. Well, it's like, it looks like them, but it's also giving me kind of vibes to, like, the original G1 Quintessons. Yeah, and also the, um, mm -hmm. like, sending those colorations make me think of Zeta Prime. Pretty oh. sure that's intentional. And we got the, yeah. and there, right there, we got a nice brooding shot. I'm gonna think of my line. <laughs> Poor, give out, give, give, give. Try on a break. I, he's old. It's easy for him to forget his lines. Grandpa's got to go right. back to the nursing home. I get, I love the moss and rust on him. I do too. It looks like again. This is going to be a visually gorgeous. Movie. Oh shit! That's a yeah. sinker. Oh shit! Is that sunstorm? That's either sunstorm or nova storm. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's clearly a female. I think that well, might yeah, be, Nova, be Nova, Storm. Nova Storm. Unless they decide to gender swap uh, Sunstorm. That'd be fine with. I mean, they already gender swapped Skywarp. Yeah. Really hoping they're not going to do that again for this movie. Uh, but no, not that I, 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 I not guess that I, not that I have a plot before. Hold on, I want to I want to mention I want to say this real quick before, so I don't set myself up for shit. Not that I have a problem with that, but I'm just saying I would like to see a male sky warp again. Just saying, it, but... it might be a female seeker. Her like the shoulders are much like they're much less protruding than they were on Starscream. Unless they're doing a thing where Starscream's yeah, they... going to have like his own unique design again. I'd be okay with that. But no, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, but when you look at the silhouette, come on, it's a fucking Viacon. No, that was clearly I, I a... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Uh, no, but I'm seeing it even more now that it's like more of like a silhouette shot. I think that's Alita coming in, just like running this poor son of a bitch over. I was about to say, cue the uh, cue the horn sound effect from Dukes of Hazard. From Dukes of Hazards. Just them good old boys. <laughs> Again, that could actually work with Prime and Megatron here. Never meaning no harm. This is reminding me of RC going through the the Nemesis in uh in Prime season two, looking for Orion. Yeah. Oh, can we just bring up this scene? I just want to bring out just how awesome this an the animation of this little action scene is. Oh my god! Yeah, I got to lead up beating up the like all the Cause... all the yeah. Because again, like look at the detail they went into with this fight. I just want to like point mind. out. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I keep in mind this isn't. Well, no, you go ahead first, Justin. This I can wait. I was gonna say, can you play this in like normal speed for a little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll play it at normal speed, and then I'll, like, go back and go frame by frame. Yeah. I just wanted to point out, like, this one bit where she, like, beats up one of those Viacons. Uh, like, right here. Like, just, uh, like, that is, like, just, like, I just say, that's something that, like, takes it, like, both takes advantage of the fact that it's animated and that she's a robot. Yeah, no, just, Hunter, <laughs> I mean, pay attention, because think... watch this. Watch this kick. Yeah. I was going to... Her waist does Damn. a full ass 360. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god! You see it? She does a. Oh. Her waist does a full ass 360. Did somebody say face shot? I just love the detail of her kicking up the rifle. Yeah. The... Oh yeah, that was that cool is like, too. That is like some straight up Halo shit. <laughs> Double kill. It reminds me of those guns the uh, Chitari had in the Avengers. Reminds me of that something. You, honestly, it reminds me of the guns you'd see in Mass Effect. That's who. Oh, here we have. Like, it looks like a seeker rave that just goes to shit. Oh, God. Is that see... Thundercracker there? Thundercracker, my boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's Thundercracker. I want to say that's Slipstream. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one with the, the purple one that... Yeah, with the... <laughs> yeah, something... Something that... just happened. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and the explosion there, because it looks like a per a blue one with a cone head. Of course, Dirt will be caught oh, in the explosion. <laughs> Dirt is like the Kenny of the... Dirt is the Kenny of the Seekers. Oh, and by Kenny, Waspinator. I mean Kenny from South Park. Yeah. He was Waspinator before Waspinator was a thing. Yeah. What are, okay. I wonder what Holy he's like. Oh. Tom, oh. go back, go back, go back. I have to do it because I'm thinking it. And you'll appreciate me for it. <laughs> Holy bolt! <laughs> Okay, this is like this is an interesting little little battle scene. It looks like a quarry or a construction site. You know what it's honestly making me think of? What? Uh, you know the back you know the back, you know the background shots of uh in Revenge of the Fall when Megatron goes to I can't believe it's not the Nemesis on I'm assuming Saturn. Oh my god, I was thinking I the same thing. 
it, it looks like that mixed with like the Ewok village scenes. There. Now I just did a Star Wars reference. Yeah. That was a construction guy because I can see overgrowth, so maybe it's another like you know abandoned like. Yeah, maybe it's an abandoned quarry. Also, I yeah. love the guns at the front of Pro- of uh, Pax- Pax's uh, truck mode. Yeah. And... Or actually, you know, if what we're saying is true and Starscream's like the leader of some sort of like rebel group, maybe like that's who we just saw get blown up. This is like their hideout. Yeah. Also, I just love Could that be. the like what are supposed to be the smoke that stacks are kind of boosters. Yes. Yeah. Like clever. Like, again, like you said, Justin, like, you got to appreciate the fact that this is taking advantage of the fact that it's animated. Yeah. Yes. And again, that they're robots and they can move like humans can't. Oh, Oh, also, I just want to say, who do you think this is? Looking familiar. Sonya. When I kept looking back at this, like... I'm just going to say it. That's fucking Arachnid. That is a hundred percent arachnid. Black arachnia. I'm not saying it's. I think it's arachnid because of the head, and the head definitely looks oh. more ang- looks more arachnid. Yeah, dude, look at the head and like the the color scheme. It's way more of like arachnid. Also, notice the little round thing she has on her like kneecaps. Uh, they look I'm like thinking helicop- they look be- like the tail rotors of a helicopter. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Dude, no, but dude, look at the silhouette. That's freaking arachnid. But you know, I'd be fine with arachnid coming back. That looks that. so good. Arachnid. That bitch. <laughs> I mean, she looking like that look. That looks looking so kind of hot. Good. Like, holy hell? It's kind of bad, though. Yeah, here. Oh, oh, here, 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 here. Yep, that, that, that screamer. Yes, and then there's sound there's wave and shockwave. shockwave. And interesting to see these guys before they met Megatron. Yeah. Also, uh, shockwave's uh, torso there kind of reminds me of Fall of Cybertron. Me too. It like yeah, he looks like a few like toy generation toys I've seen of him uh, floating around. Yeah. Not saying that's a bad yeah. thing. Oh, like I said, the fact that like, it looks like Starscream was just sitting on that throne and is like like getting up from it. Like I said, I'm thinking maybe he was. Like, I'm assuming he's like I'm thinking like he maybe he's leading like some kind of rebellion. Uh, and like you said, like yo Megatron eventually basically puts his place. Also, you can. Th- See his null rays on his shoulders there. They are at least dinky what I'm assuming are his null rays. Them dinky ass null rays, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe they maybe they extend when he's ready for battle. Maybe, maybe. it's just Oh yeah. I Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know I gotta I... make this bit. Maybe it's just really cold uh, that night. It's okay, Screamer it happens to, to every man. <laughs> I was thinking that too, but I just didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I'm thinking of something else that you guys will laugh at. What? Like if what, what? We're, if what we're theorizing is true about Starscream being the leader of a rebellion and Megatron takes over, I'm just thinking. <laughs> so thank you, Soviet Wumble. No, I'm just Megatron. <laughs> usurped, usurped. I say <laughs> that video. Yes, just I have been usurped. Usurped. I say. Shut up, Starscream. You're like I said, it's... Oh. <laughs> like, like I said, I I I think like. Because, like I said, Steve Buscemi is going to be I think he would be great as Starscream. Honestly, I agree. you know what I might just end up doing for this podcast, guys? I might go back through what? all the stuff we're talking about and, like, just put in screenshots. Like, edit this all together and, like, put in the screenshots we're talking about. Oh, please do. That would work. Yeah, give the audience something visual. That would take, I mean, it would obviously take a shit ton of editing, but I think it would be totally worth it. Oh, it would it would so be worth. I agree. It. All right, uh, looks like I'm going to be doing some editing. Or I can do it when you can, bro. Or just hire someone to edit this. Oh, oh, oh. Just pay like your oh, just pay your oh, friend like twenty bucks. Go back to that. Huh? 
there's, there's someone on the side of Soundwave. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, and it looks right. blue, so I think that might act... And it looks like he's got also got a Null Ray on his shoulder, so that, that might, might be Thundercracker. That might indeed be well, Thundercracker. I... Now, you see a little bit of also blue. This... Yeah. yeah, you do. Oh, by the way, I, I guess also... it's like, Shockwave looks so goddamn good. He does. Uh, Soundwave, I'm not going to lie, like, the leg... The proportion of his lower body is, like, Kind of messing with little. me. Shockwave yeah, looks just look a little weird. Shockwave it could just looks... be how he, it could. Just, it could. I'm thinking with Cellwave, it might just be how the shot is framed. Maybe, but you know, I mean, Shockwave. <laughs> it looks like they found the right mix between like his proportions in Fall of Cybertron with the beef he's got from from like Prime. Also, I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, Starscream's design here is kind of giving me vibes to Cybertron. I can kind of see it in like, the, in, like, the torso. Oh, I do, too. Yeah, definitely in the torso. And plus, he's a little bulkier than, like, what most Starscreams have been in recent years. But, yeah. I don't mind. Well, to be fair... Well, to be fair, Cybertron Starscream is based on the War Within design for Starscream from the War Within comic. Also, I just right. love I, I just love this shot with like the Arkham Viacom. Knight. <laughs> it's the Arkham Knight. That's what we're calling this Viacom, the Arkham Knight. It does kind of look like um, especially. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's what the hell that was making me think of the Arkham Knight. Okay, totally not Jason Todd. <laughs> also, I just want to say, almost ten year old game. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say the game's been out for like at least almost ten years. I don't think it's much of a spoiler. All right. Also, I love the laser sight on those guns. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they... oh, yeah. Honestly, this like shot making me think of like Predator. Just Gata! also, is this a shark decon here or whatever those crocodile things were? Honestly, I mean, think the that's, tri that's Tryon. Yeah. No, guys, that's Tryon. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can see it's the same, like, moss and rust from his robot mode. So they're giving shit, are Tryon... are they giving Tryon a beast mode? They're giving Tryon a beast mode. They did. I, mean, I, know some, I know some of the toys have done that, but holy yeah, shit. Yeah, there was one toy yeah. where he was a lot... I, I, I personally, I'm Actually, all I for... Actually, might be lying. Actually, go back. I think that might be lying, because, look, the head, there's a little, like, bulk thing around the head. That could be, like, a mane or something. I think that's just, like, the moss accidentally becoming a mane, but even still, I'm here for it. That looks no, so... I am too. That looks so good. I think Again, it kind of reminds me of the Lion Zord from Power Rangers uh, Wild Force. Does anyone even remember that one? I think I've heard I of do. that one before. But no, that looks so <gasps> Okay, at least I, I don't know why, but like, try on having a beast mode. Oh my god, why does this work? Well, again, it kind of makes sense that like, again, the, I kind of like it. Because like, think about it, the primes would be different from normal cyber. Oh my god, oh my god, on the lion, you can, on, the, on the beast mode, you can actually see like, try on's crest too. Oh yeah, 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 on oh, the yeah. head. Yep, that's try on. That's clearly try on. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I love that. That's the, why I wanted I to watch this again with you guys. Yeah. Well, now shit, I didn't notice. Also, yeah, now yeah. about it, boys, if they don't have a scene where Ryan, Megatron Company are going ham on Quintesson soldiers and. You know, that once uh, the immigrant song from Led Zeppelin isn't playing, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm kidding. Again, I, again, I don't know why. Awesome. I just love the laser. That would be awesome. That is just like, that, that is an awesome, like, um, to see that a is laser. straight up Arkham Knight. <laughs> he really does look like the Arkham Knight. Not saying that is a bad also, thing. This from the line that you have. Also, this train, this train with like the tracks that transform in front of it, gives me vibes of the first trailer of all of Cybertron or War for Cybertron. You know what? You oh know my what that... god, it totally does. Yeah, same. And you know what the track, like the the train making its own tracks, make me think of that one what? train that was tracking down Team Avatar in the original Avatar series. You know, the one Azula was using. 
Oh, yeah. I referenced oh. something that wasn't Star Wars. Good for you. Have a good We're making progress. <laughs> also, hey, I'm fun. pretty sure this is Skywarp. Oh, this is 100% Skywarp. Either that or Slipstream has really bulked up since animated. Oh, yeah. It looks nope, like it's got to be Skywarp. That's, you that's, see the shoulders? Yep, yeah, they're bulky like yep, Star Screams. So and they're black, yes. and it's black and purple. It's right, it's our yeah exactly. it's our boy. That's oh! Skywarp. So here's Which, hoping we get both uh, our boys, both Skywarp and Thundercracker. Please, damn right. Also, uh, but that means like yeah, that must mean like that seeker we saw earlier, the the gold and black one. That has to be like Nova Storm. Could be. Yeah. Which again, I'm. Nova Storm being officially made female, I'm not against that. Also, I just no, I mean we got that in. Sorry. Okay, I'm okay. The fact that this guy is all gold, I'm just saying it now. He took a dip in whatever that stuff is from the Golden Lagoon. Oh, electronium. Nah, I think Electrum, he got yeah. no. I think he got the Turkish Electrum, knock. Yeah. I think he got the Turkish knockoff Electrum. You guys watch this. He just goes in all Falcon Punch. B's mask comes down, which I gotta say, for having a classic style Bumblebee like toy mask, it looks yeah. good. Oh my god! It do oh, uh, I agree. I, kinda do I don't know if I like this or the one with like the act where he actually looks like he's got B eyes with more now. But no, I Damn. Just, but no, I just love this <laughs> shot. He just like going in like he just comes in like Falcon Punch. Do you ever wish there was a movie where June Darkin was running around karate chopping Teletubbies in half? Well, then you wish for some weird shit. If you're wondering where that's from, it's Turkish Star Wars. Now, I know yeah. that's not what it's officially <laughs> called, but no, it's fucking Turkish Star Wars. If you don't know who June Arkin just... is, think if Mark Hamill had a weird Bruce Lee phase and he did the Dragon Ball Fusion dance with a midlife crisis David Hasselhoff. <laughs> That's, come on that was like my best dis hyper hyperbolic description ever and if you're wondering who june 8 arkin is he's the only guy that can make that pose on the poster and still <laughs> keep his dignity <laughs> but no i just love how like he goes for the punch yeah. and just like oh shit <laughs> but, uh, you can see like you, you can just let's just like that punch just like that donk Look at what happened. Oh, oh, oh. Look at his fucking yeah, hands. His fingers. Look at his hands. He's like, oh man. He looks. He doesn't even look like he's in pain. <laughs> there's a that. There's the look of a man that just realized he probably just broke his hand. For the, for all the audio <laughs> listeners, his hand looks like. You guys remember that episode, the Thug Tug episode of SpongeBob, and SpongeBob cracked his fingers, and you just hear that. <laughs> it just, all his hands are just completely fucked. It that is literally what happened yes. to this to this be to this poor bastard's hand. Very much. And again, he's not even. He doesn't even look like he's in pain. He's just like, oh. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen. That usually works. Yeah, he he's like, this usually yeah, he's works. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like mildly confused by what just happened. <laughs> I wonder if that's just a shock. Probably. But also, you know, he does have a visor over his face, so. Yeah, see out of these damn helmets. <laughs> But no, I think it doesn't the, look honestly. The battle mask look for B looks really good. And like I said, it gives me it. like G1 gold bug vibes, or even like you know, the old G1 toy bumblebee vibes. I think that's clearly what they were going for, which I don't mind. Like, I'm glad they decided to do that. And <laughs> I even love that. Even a lead is like, what the fuck. <laughs> look how big that is compared to her, it's almost as. Like, the bottom part of the gut is, like, her entire upper body combined in terms of how big and tall it is. That thing's got... Yeah. That thing's al yeah, that thing's almost the size of her entire upper torso. 
I love how he's going. I, 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 I love how this guy goes in for like another punch. <laughs> Decapitation! <laughs> Just... You can go hard R with your vi You can go hard R with your violence when they're robots. I know. Just let's just, just go frame by frame. Just that. Oh, yeah. I love that it wasn't at the neck. It was literally like at his fucking forehead. Yeah. That's a lobotomy, and I also love that like it wasn't a straight horizontal line either. Oh, it was diagonal. Well, well but well, but it also makes sense because the guy is moving forward as B does that, so it's like, <laughs> and again, like, I... because of the momentum, it, like so because of the momentum, it's not just like a, it's not a clean cut. Now I'm tempted Bro. to just edit in that like that jet plaque decapitation. Decapitation. Am I really gonna play that joke? <laughs> Every time that happens. Oh, I, I don't know if you noticed this, but there's also some fighting in the background with the Seekers and the Viacons. Yeah, no, I, I see, see that. It. Too. Now, granted, it's a little stiff, but I'll be dead ass honest. I'm okay with that. Be fair, like, we're not, not every, like the background doesn't need to be super dynamic. I know. I wonder if that blue one is Thundercracker. Also, it looks like we got like a full-on yellow seeker right there, so maybe that could be Sunstorm, or maybe it is just Nova Storm again. But no, I just Actually, love this. Like with this guy, so probably is Nova Storm. <laughs> I just love this. The knife. Hands. Look at the blade. I like the blades. I really do. They remind. You know, they remind also, me of animated bees stingers. Honestly, they remind also, me of like the way, the, they remind me of like the little daggers the elites would use for assassinations in Halo Reach. Remind me of both. Also, the way, like the way Bees ha has them out here in this in this frame, it almost looks like he's giving a. He he's looks like he's shooting the bird. <laughs> he looks like he's giving a really double bird. Does. It really does. It kind of does. I wonder if that was yeah, an accident but... or on purpose. Yeah, but anyway, like I was um, saying, like him to slice of that guy's top, that guy's head off. Like, like you can pretty much go hard R with your violence when they're robots, and it's still be PG. Oh, and I love you can see the reflection uh, in B's paint. Uh, they really got chromed out. Yeah, but no, I mean, you know, actually, they look like plasma versions of the hidden blades from Assassin's Creed. Oh my god! Be, but they're they usually totally on the yeah yeah they were Except usually... they're on the other side of the phone. Yeah, but yeah, I think in honestly. Valhalla they're they're on that side on the main character. Valhalla calling. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this yes. like, sequence. <laughs> that was a transform like, and roll out. I think, also, I think if you pause a minute, you can actually see Megatron in his tank mode shooting at something in the yeah. background. But again, I love the details of the transformation sequence. <laughs> All that B just has to show off. Uh. Of course he does. And hang on. Oh. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I see it. Yep, that's Megatron. Yeah, there's Megatron yep. in his tank mode. <laughs> it's Megatron just shooting at shit. I love that the cannon is also pivoting, too. Like, it's actually turning. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have yeah, the title card drop. Run. Which looks right. good. For... I like the gold. It took us for... It took us for fucking ever to get here, but hey, we did it. <laughs> hey, it took hey, it took far less time than than fucking Godzilla King of the Monsters. That movie was the world's longest opening sequence. <laughs> right? It's like that's one of those movies like, damn, man, that that was the longest opening title sequence to a movie ever. <laughs> Why do I feel like that would be a joke Brandon Tendled would make? Probably. Probably. Oh my god, we just freed a basketball mascot. And look at, I love this like post title sequence scene. Yeah. Bubblebee just has a full on Michelangelo from TMNT 2012 moment. <laughs> he just I mean, that's the best way to describe B in this movie. He's Michelangelo. Pretty much. B Oh my Bees god, are that, not oh my god that actually explains so many of the lame ass jokes. Except even except Mikey's jokes were actually funny. Mm, sometimes. Yeah, I said it. I'm so... Turf Lytle. God almighty. 
If you go, Hunter, if you start saying buzz, buzz, I will castrate you with a honey badger. Buzz. <laughs> hey, man. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. <laughs> but yeah, I just like how he's just slicing he's up just, all these computers. Why is he just fucking... He's, he's like Wolverine. He's like, he really is like, he's just going full Wolverine on that fucking computer. <laughs> That's what, oh my God. That's how I feel sometimes trying to get like OBS to work sometimes. That's what I want to oh. say. Oh, well, we'll get where we get a better look at it. But no, I love. I, oh, I just noticed this one bot in the corner, Manning. I was just gonna tell- point that because we see him later. Yeah, he's like, he's like, what the fuck? He is like, I don't know what's going on. There's a crazy man with knife hands in my office. I'm scared. I want my mommy. I'm coming up. I'm scared. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> he sliced that he sliced chair. The chair. What did that chair do? Clearly, B is just having to is too B, into what he's doing. That, B is a fucking me. That man, B is like a fucking. He's like a crack addict with a machete. Yep. This is what happens if you give Florida man a lightsaber. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like B. These aren't the bad the guys. Bad. Also, who's that guy Alina is holding? I think uh, that's. I think that's just like. I don't think that's a person. I think that, that. I think that's just a red. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's just a random piece of equipment. That's either a. That, yeah, that's either be. a random piece of equipment or a dead as fuck vehicon. The way he ain't gonna be in the next movie. <laughs> They're not the bad guys. <laughs> oh shit! Like I was Oh shit, you see? Yeah, oh my god, is that Blur? Magnus? I was thinking more Ultra Magnus because of the head, but. Nah. nah, Magnus would be way thicker. This looks like Blur, yeah, though. Sure. Kinda. That'd yeah. be cool. I was gonna say, like, the, uh, look at the guy, one of the guys he points to. But no, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, oh, nice going, up. B. You just murdered Teletran 1. Now we have to get Teletran X. Doesn't that one guy kind of look like Springer? He does. The green guy there? At least in the head. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> see it. Honestly, the one of the ho- with the horn making me think of green light, but they both have male voices. Yeah. yeah they're cl- like, clearly. Oh, <laughs> uh, like. You can probably tell they both shit their pants. Or whatever, you know, the robot equivalent of shooting your pants is. Evacuating your system. Yeah, they... they like, also, geez. the other guy there, his head kind of reminds me of War for Cybertron Silverbolt a bit. Oh, yeah! A little bit. All right, then we, here, we got our, here we got our... Brian Tyree uh, Henry, Scarlett Johansson, Keegan Michael Keel, Steve Buscemi, Lawrence Fishburne, Lawrence Fishburne. In John Ham. John Ham. I don't yeah, know who John be... Ham is. He's going to be playing Sentinel. Ah. Okay. Only so, yeah. in theaters this September. So yeah, that's uh. So that is the trailer for Transformers One. And yeah, I mean, aside from you know, few cringe jokes. We are actually hoping this movie turns out good. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm hoping. Yeah. Like, seriously, I'm hoping it'll at least be better than what happened. Okay. Again, I say this not as a dig. I say it as, because again, like the 86 movie is genuinely good, but it's also not hard to see why it flopped. Because again, we did kind of allude to why earlier. So we're not going to reiterate that. Yeah. So well, we're really hoping this movie will do well. Yeah, the fact that that movie was barely marketed. Yeah. Yeah, so at the end of the day, like, not, again, I'm very glad I held off on doing, like, a live reaction 
because it allowed me to much to like gather my thoughts on it so much better. I agree. Yeah. I think the designs are. St I honestly think the designs are solid as hell. Yeah, like I like I the, the stylized movie, but it still feels like it's part of whatever kind of whatever cinematic you whatever new attempt at the Transformers universe that they're going with. For again, assuming this is in continuity with the recent we've gotten with Bully and Rise of the Beasts. Yeah. Like I, right. I, I, I am one hundred percent like looking forward to this in September. And um, honestly, if I yeah, have, this is if I be have a to highlight. pick one thing, I'm very impressed with is giving a G1 styled Optimus Prime an actual face, which is hard as. That's yeah, not always the thing to buff. Yeah, it's not always the easiest yeah. thing to pull off because sometimes G1 Optimus Prime with a mouth looks cursed i agree with you there like that one kid's picture book with cliff jumper winning that race <laughs> fill it with fire the f fucking creepy pasta you ain't kidding Aaron's but yeah my neck is standing up yeah but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this hopefully i get this out soon Especially since now I have to give myself a shit ton of editing to do. I just do it in your spare time, bro. Yeah. Plus, I'm sure you can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Oh. If you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. Johnny Karate. You two aren't doing the work, so fuck off. Right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I want to save. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that's that's probably gonna do it for uh, for this podcast. I guess you could call it. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's get out before we get even crazier, and before we know it, we're saying words we shouldn't say on. You know, oh, you. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like you two have to worry about it. I'm the one who has to worry about it because whose channel is gonna get shit canned? Not mine. <laughs> why did you? Why did you have to sound like a fucking gnome? But yeah, no, seriously, it's not like, I don't know, Justin, I, I don't think you would ever do, oh yeah, you did drop the C word once in a live stream, thanks for that. Hey, the video didn't get taken down, so. I mean, what's the C word, Just Thomas just like, oh god. <laughs> Why are you making me sound like Mr. Harriman? It's just, I imagine it's like Tom's live streams, it's just like, anytime, any kind of like, non-standard profanity like that like anything that's not an f or an s s bomb he's just like he's like a, he's like a child was listening to my live stream justin said the c word and that child died <laughs> mommy what does the c word mean oh god why are you making the mother sound like mr harriman i don't know it's just funny <laughs> all right, we've got to we got we we got to we got to wrap up the show. So, thank you all. You know the drill. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want more of this. Who knows? Maybe we'll Fuckery actually give is. a review on the movie when it comes out. Yeah, I would certainly love to do that. So, uh, uh hopefully we do plan to do more stuff like this in the future. But we'll see how it goes. We're playing we're playing it we're playing it cautiously. And uh, oh, hey, well, before I forget, uh, my buddy, my buddy uh, Hunter, did his own kind of edited video of uh, some really cool dinosaurs. You don't really get to see in the Jurassic Park movies on Jurassic World Evolution Two, so I'll put a link down in the description to that as well, and on the pinned comment, both to Hunter's video and the trailer. If you guys want to check it out, and I'll see Let's you all in the next seriously. one. Hunter. I'm good. All right. Yeah. Peace out, everybody.